Perhatian sang putri merak yang tertiup angin Aku boleh hari ini dari Whole Life ID Attention please, I'm ready from Whole Life ID Generation 2 Hello there and welcome To Apollo Justice Ooh, I hope you guys are doing well Yay Today we're going to be playing Apollo Justice A.K.A. Gyakten Saiban 4 Right? Yes, right. I think that's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Last part, we left off as we left off at the um at the end of um at the end of case two, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. And then, well, finally, we know the culprit of the. Oh my God, it's been so long. What happened? <laughs> What happened again? I'm like, huh? I thought I remembered. Oh, about doctors and blah blah blah. About Alita Tiala. Yes, the truth behind Alita Tiala. All right, awesome. Hmm. Yeah, the noodle cart thing. The story about the noodle cart. Well, well, well. Okay then. And now we are so ready to select the game. No, actually, we're going to load game. Oh, I love it. I want to return to the title screen. Yeah, load game. I think it's I think it's nicer to go here first, to be honest. Load game because we get to see the animation, you know. <laughs> What's museum, by the way? I have no idea! What's museum? I don't know. Oh! This museum section contains spoilers. Okay, no. Nope. <laughs> then nope. <laughs> okay, well, since it's spoilers, we, will, we are not gonna touch them until um, the end, I guess. Hmm... All right, stay out of the museum. The museum is off limits for the likes of you. Something like that. But anyways, uh, oh, all right. Yes, we remember episode three is called Turnabout Serenade. Well, I don't know. There's been mixed comments about episode threes are usually blah blah blah. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what it's about. I mean, turn when I say Turnabout Corner, I would have you know I have no idea what it's about. It turns out that it was about. Heart disease, no, not really heart disease, you know, heart conditions, noodles, penny thief. So, what is Serenade about? I mean, you know, it could be about anything, really, really. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Curious to your opinion on this. Yeah, usually people have a mixed opinion on episode three, but I'm excited actually. Well, you know, it's very nice. You managed to make turnabout big top entertaining, so I have full faith in you can make this fun too. Oh my god. Oh my oh Alright. <laughs> Alright. This case has a lot of flashbacks. Maybe we should have a counter. Drink every time there's a flashback. Or is that too much? Drink water, by the way. Hydration check, okay? Alright. Let's see then. Start playing from the safe data. Today we're starting a little bit later than usual, but um, we're not gonna end. We're not gonna end. Uh, oh, let's rock! A concert? Clavier Gavin? I think. We love you! Sheesh! All right. Rock on, everyone! This party's not over yet! Get out your handkerchiefs for our special guest! That's right, baby! The night's just getting started! Thank you for coming to the Gaviners. What? Is this like a whole sibling thing? This is the first part of tonight's show. There will now be a 20-minute intermission, and then somebody dies. Right after this. This is so cool! Us at a Gaffiner's concert! Oh my god, the blue badger, do you see it? Huh? Did you say something? My ears are still ringing. The Gaffiner's! 
putting the sick back in music. Okay. Well, I thought Mr. Kevin was really nice. Sending us those tickets at 20% off. They're hard to get a hold of, you know? When you invite people to a concert, it's usually free. Let's head to this dressing room, Apollo. You know, like we're a couple of VIPs. I've always dreamed of being a VIP at a governor's show. Uh, Trucy... You didn't know who Prosecutor Gavin was before that case. What kind of fan doesn't know the lead vocalist's name? Oh, this guy... Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Clavier... What a lovely name! He's so dreamy! Huh? Yeah, but I'm a girl! I was supposed to swoon over Gods of Rock! <laughs> really? God awful, maybe. Flashback already? Oh my god, hydration time! I bought all their stuff on the way home for the trial. I got 12 governor's albums and 15 concert videos. Uh, that was quite a bit of impulse shopping. I got an advance on my next 15 years worth of allowance. For Mr. Wright, that sounds like a real act of generosity. Alright. Who would have imagined me here? At a Gavinor's concert? Watching Prosecutor Gavin rock. To be honest, he was kind of cool. And I'm kind of envious. Not that I'd ever admit that to Trucy. Oh my god, the crying red badger or whatever that is. Ah, you made it! Mr. Gavin! Thanks so much for the tickets. And the invoice is sent along with them. You're incredible up on stage, Mr. Gavin! Nothing like music to brighten the mood after a trial, yeah? And we're almost ready for our next act. I'm looking forward to it myself. La Mirvoir singing, right? The siren of the ballad? Oh, yeah. That flyer said he flew all the way over for this show. That's right. I happened to catch her show while overseas. Her voice is divine. I knew I had to invite her to perform with us. Lamivore says... You praise me too highly. Hold on. I have noodles. You praise me too highly. <laughs> Who's this guy? He is huge! Allow me to introduce Mr. Romine. Is it Romine or Romine Latus? What's that mean? Romaine let 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 lettuce. Lemiror's manager. And her interpreter, incidentally. Mm. This is a great honor for us to be here. And a great honor for Lemiror to be heard in this country. In Japan, California? What the? Okay. That voice. I wish I could understand it. It's beautiful. Wingdings gang. I mean, not really wingdings, but you know. Yes, okay. I see. It's Lemmy Roar! I'm actually meeting Lemmy Roar! Let's try to read what she says. Try to decipher it. Lemmy Roar. Mysterious songstress. 
Her quiet, deep song glides through the air, lilting above a sparse but elegant piano accompaniment. She's so pretty. Now this is music. She's a real artist. Arrow with feet, cockroach, F speeding and zooming, kamehameha, um, centaur without a neck, and scissors, and another kamehameha, and a fish, and my, uh, my, my, the thing in my, on my neck, and F zoom in, and the leaf, and then eyes with feet, and then cent necklace centaur, and then crown, but I don't know, probably like a Rafflesia woman, another leaf, but different, and, um, dancer with three legs. Lamy Roar says, We have long looked forward to this joint performance. Ah, Lamy Roar, your voice. It is art. Pendant leaf, necklace centaur, kamehameha fish, necklace centaur, leaf, rafflesia guy. Waves, pendant, leaf, question mark, fish, rafflesia dude, roach, arrows dancing, necklace centaur, dancer, but dancer but with no head and more fingers. Yet without his piano to guide me, it is but a voice. Who the hell? Why his hair look like a wing? I've seen this kid somewhere before. He plays piano at all of Lemmerer's concerts. He's cute. And he's a really good pianist. Unlike your father. Just kidding. Good pianists are dying breed, I hear. Haha. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Machi Tobai. I don't... Or Machi Tobai. He is blind. Hmm. 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 This is why he never strays far from Lemuror. They're always together. They're like characters from some fairy tale. Lemur is so, um, what's that word? Mysterious? Exotic? Yeah, you can say shit like that, Trucy. <laughs> and mysterious. Yo, that was the content warning from the start of the game. Like, we are leaving the dialogue as is for preservation. <laughs> this is what they're talking about. She does seem quite pretty. At least, her eyes do. <laughs> I got mysterious right, though. <laughs> so it's her! <laughs> she the culprit! She's the reason why they have to write that stuff in front. Hers is a kind of sightseeing music. Trucy is truly a product of her times. <laughs> huh? She travels the globe, putting the sights she sees into song. Even though her appearance and voice are exotic, him too. <laughs> her songs remind us of something close and warm. <laughs> Science into song. That's so poetic. She was 
gracious enough to put music to my lyrics tonight. The Guitar Serenade. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait! And now it is time. For the next part, we're giving the governor's hard rock a little rest. Let me roar. The stage is yours. Leaf, refleshy dude. Leaf, but more luscious. Leaf, but dry. Roach, arrow, dancing. I with a spider, kamehameha. Kneeling, f zooming. Wave, scissors. Leaf, pendant, f zooming, and pendant. The band members will not play during Lemmy Roar's ballad. Only Machi's tender tones and Lemmy Roar's dulce voice. What's the benefit of joining membership? Um, you... I don't know, first of all, you get to enjoy the emotes. And second, um, you get to watch wild movies together with me. Hmm... <laughs> We just watched a pretty wild movie last time, right? Like, um, a few days ago. And the badge is cute as hell. And my guitar, of course. Woohoo! Nice like this make it all worthwhile, you know? I should have learned to play the guitar. There's not much romance in Chords of Steel. <laughs> Shall we hit the stage then? Hmm. Yeah, I think I think my members are better at advertising my membership than I am. For me, I'm just like, yeah, let's have fun and do wild stuff. Take care, your hearts aren't stolen away, yeah? Let's get back to the concert hall, Polly! Mmm... Mmm! Sugar, sugar... Oh, that night... In your embrace... Oh, this is like singing. My heart held on to so tight. Something like that, I think. Ooh, this is like... Uh. Pleasure. But a flee, flee, fleeting melody. <laughs> it wraps itself, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna eat. And now through the air I fly Nobody told us Whoa, whoa! Whoa Burning on in my heart fire, okay Burn my love away All over the ah! Like a bullet of Love Fire Take my life away. Woo! Damn, that's good. Guitar, guitar. Up together to the sky. Oh my god, rip Gavin's guitar. That was a very nice performance. Don't you guys agree? The noodles are very tasty. Wow! Wasn't Lemmy Roar amazing? I, I even cried a little! I was surprised Prosecutor Gavin actually burned his guitar. Menyala bangku. Yeah! That even surprised me and I'm a magician! What a production! What a destruction! 
don't think Prosecutor Gavin was expecting it either, oddly. He looked as surprised as I was. Is that what they call risking life and limb for art? I think it's my new hero! I'm not sure I'd call that art. Well, what are we doing here? Let's get going to Mr. Gavin's dressing room. There's 20 minutes till the last part of the show. How many breaks does this band need? <laughs> okay. Why is there like police props? <laughs> what the heck was that? I was never consulted about it. S sorry, Mr. Gavin, sir. I've asked the man in charge. I play new rock, not great balls of fire. Speaking of fire, I have a good mind to fire whoever is responsible. He seems upset. Apollo Justice, were you the one who tried to torch me? What? Hey, I didn't do it. So much for risking your life for art. The guitar serenade is ruined. Ruined. Well, let's try to talk to him at least. I'm not sure that's the best move right now. Why us? What do we do? You mean the guitar? That wasn't part of the act? Part of the act? Who'd burn up a guitar on purpose? He loves his guitar. But it worked really well with the lyrics just then. Burning on in my heart. Fire. Burn my love away. All away. Wait, do you think the audience thought it was? Sounds like you got lucky. They probably thought it was part of the act. At least I did. Wow, now he's smiling. Now, oh, okay, that means there's no need to worry. He got lucky and he didn't realize it. <laughs> Anyway, that guitar was the Ferrari of guitars! It's all the seat, all the sound, and all the price. If I burn one of those at every show, I'd go broke! Unusually frugal for a rock band. Try saying that to Mr. Gavin. Achtung, today's been one disaster after another. My hog won't run, my guitar case is broken. Daddy told me there'd be days like these. Okay. But wasn't Lemmy Roar's song incredible? You worked on it too, right, Mr. Gavin? Ah, uh, yes, thanks. It was a collaboration. I wrote the lyrics and she wrote the melody. Ah, okay, I see. You know, I was surprised she could sing in English. I'm sure she practiced a long time for this day. Ah, here. What's this? A lyric sheet. It's yours. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry, what? Signed by myself and Lemuroar. Yippee! Thanks so much! All I ever get to sign are client defense agreements. Okay. Almost time for the third act of the night. Oh, there's more? Yes, Lemuroar's part is done. Now it's time for us to drop our groove again, yeah? Hope you're ready to catch it. Woohoo! Ready, Apollo? Uh, I think I'll pass. Eh. I like the bit with Lemuroar. But the rest could use a volume knob. Turned way down. Damn, what a hater! <laughs> oh, Apollo, you're getting old! Ugh. Does 22 qualify as old to a 15-year-old? Well, I'm going! Let the old folks rest back, Seja. <laughs> hey, you're older than I am! Right, let's uh... I don't know. Actually, let's try moving. Oh! Something fell. Hey, it's you! The right kid! 
Detective Sky. I'll let that right kid business pass. Call me Emma. There's no need for titles once you've shared a bottle of fingerprinting powder. <laughs> what? Uh, that's a new one. So, uh, Emma, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm snacking. You think I want to be here? <laughs> Me? In charge of security in this pit? Security? Did something happen? There's no knowing with that glimmerous fop. Apparently, he's all upset because something was stolen. He wanted security back here during the concert. Where does he get off acting like he's some big rock star? I mean, he is kind of a big rock star. He is a big rock star. Hey! You listening to me? So... Where's this door here lead to? This one? Oh, that's Lemuror's dressing room. Don't even think of going in there unless you want a piece of snack ooze in your face! She ever in a good mood, I wonder. I like the chewing animation. Okay, so it's like one and then chew and then one and two and chew. Yeah. It's like one chew and then one, two, chew. Yeah. I got this. I got the cycle down. Uh, Emma? Never seen someone eat snacks with such vehemence. Better give her a wide berth. Oh, she snackooed me. Oh no, the lamp party. We should have caught. We, we should have caught it. <laughs> uh, Emma. Oh my gosh, she doesn't care. Whatever. Bye, Emma. Emma. Oh my gosh, she does not care. Oh my god, why is everybody in this? Why is everybody in this department so difficult? Fine! Bye, I'm gonna examine whatever this is. What's this? Some kind of headset earpiece? Why would someone leave this in the hallway? Oh my god, shut up, Emma! Maybe let Mirage bodyguard dropped it? Oh my god, stop! Emma! Will you stop eating those snacks for one second and listen? If you think you're going to pull me away from my snacks just to hear you mumbling... On and on about whatever, you're going to be sorely disappointed. At least I got her to stop munching. What's that odd-looking doll doing there? Oh, that's a blue badger. Did you try either talking or munching with not both? <laughs> she snackooed me. Serves me right for going out of my way. Sorry, I don't speak snackoos. My god. Where's my snacks? My snacks outside. I just ate noodles, though. Alright. You know what? Emma's just being not very helpful, actually. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Think of it, I'm a little thirsty. I'll have some tea. What? I think I'll get a water. I'll have tea! If you want tea so bad, go buy it yourself. <laughs> so childish. Alright. Let's go here. I don't want to deal with her now. Like, okay, I like her, but also... Oh, go food! A delicious bowl of... Ew. Made of pla- yeah, Made of plastic? Huh. The bottom of the bowl has a G on it. They sell these at concerts? Whatever happened to t-shirts? Okay. There's graffiti on the mirror. And lipstick. Wait, but the Gaviners are all guys. Maybe Prosecutor Gavin wears lipstick? Maybe. That guitar looks like it was made out of, of a cop car door. That's right. Trucy's not here to set me straight. Now I feel kind of lonely. A postcard of Lavirore. Sightseeing music.
Right. I can't read a single word of the sentence at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like words, but it really isn't. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. It looks like, oh, this is so-and-so upside down, but it, it doesn't really make a word. <laughs> it doesn't really make words. Trissy might want one of these. I'll show you to her next time we're here. That's an odd guitar. The design is that character I saw in the hallway, but with sunglasses. What a strange mascot. He looks like he's crying. Since when was Rock about crying? They should name this guy Emo. What? No clues here. Okay, no, um... That police officer looks ready to rock. Some kids must see this and actually want to be cops. Huh? <laughs> Somehow I don't think a rocking defense attorney would work so well. Emma and Emo, they're friends. An old-fashioned speaker hangs from the ceiling that must be to monitor what's happening out on stage. I think we have the same kind for my school's PA system. A police uniform. Next to it is a policeman's hat and a pair of handcuffs. Guess the band is really into the police. Must be Prosecutor Gavin's bad influence. Hmm. I thought rock and roll was all about being rebellious. I know. Why is this? Why is this dressing room so cop core? <laughs> Hold on. Um. Anything else we haven't checked out? Oh. Chains dangle from the ceiling. They aren't glimmerous, but I bet Detective Sky would have something to say about them. It's cop core thing. I don't know. I just sorry. I just made that up. But like, for a rock band, this band sure is pretty obsessed with cops. Hold on, um, I think... Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Thick leather gloves and sunglasses. Maybe I'll try these on. On second thought? Nope. There might be evidence for one of the Prosecutor Gavin's cases. I don't think he should put evidence on the table like that. And... Okay, I guess we have uh, seen everything... Yeah, we probably have. Okay, she doesn't care about this. Hmm. That's a pretty sturdy looking box there. Maybe it's in an instrument case. There's a guitar next to it. Don't even think about taking that! I don't think I could even carry it. Oh. Very helpful, thanks. A governor's guilty as charged tour poster. They're plastered all over the place. It's annoying. Well, this is the concert venue. It makes sense. Why? Everyone here is already here. Why advertise to them? People like to see the poster at the concert. It's part of the experience. <laughs> An establishment against establishment. Damn. Do you have to find fault with everything I say? Oh my god. So this is Lavirar's dressing room. If you even think about going in there, I'll... Oh! <gasps> Is that a gunshot? Something's going on! You! Out of my way! Y Emma! Lavirar! Lavirar! It's not locked. I'm going in! Ah! <gasps> I see that gun. What's that awful noise? Oh, it's a concert. Oh, <gasps> no! No, the bodyguard dude! It's Lamarar's manager, Mr. What's-His-Name. Latus! Oh, no! Hey, you! M me Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. All right, I understood. You want me to make sure no one comes in, right? Don't touch anything. I'll be right back. Uh, what's going on? I just talked to him and now... Mm. He... He's alive! 
Mr. Latus, can you hear me? Shot. I was shot. Yes, we can tell. Who? Who shot you? I don't know. Ask. Ask? Ask what? Ask. R witness. Oh, <gasps> there's a witness. Witness? There was a witness? Who? Cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold? Don't worry, you're going to be fine. Help is on the way. Yeah, sit on his hands or something. Can't see. Hang in there, Mr. Latus. Tell me, who was the witness? The witness is... C. Siren. Oh, la la me roar? How can a siren witness anything? No! Mr. Latus! Yes! Emma! What was that? Who's there? Oh my god, is he locked in the room? What's wrong? Oh, okay, it's Emma actually. Emma, did you see anyone just now? Huh? No! I could have sworn I heard a door close. The concert's been cancelled. Backup's on his way. Is Mr. Latouz dead? Yes. <sighs> He's dead, isn't he? That's terrible. I lost him! Roman... Roman Latouz. Shot. And I heard this last words. The witness is the sky siren. Whatever that means. Shark, dude! The venue's locked down. We took names and addresses before letting the crowd go. Good work, Darian. I'll let you know if I find out anything about the victim. Later. It's investigation time then, yeah? Fro... Oh, what? Forgot how to pronounce it. Froyline? Yeah. Froyline detective? I don't need some rock and rolling prosecutor to tell me that. One request I must make. Tell no one, on staff or otherwise, anything of this. Huh? How? Ooh, a gag order. No word gets out other than that Mr. Latus is dead. No word of the cause of death or of the murder. Tell no one, not even Lamy Roar? Not even her. You must keep everything under wraps. Oh, one other thing. I'll need your signature on this, air forehead. You're a suit, Fräulein. Oh my god, I will not blab! On that? An investigation- Oh, investigation request. Okay. Why just us? You two are civilians. It's standard procedure. That should be okay to sign, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I guess it's like the gag order. Right. Well, get started with the get started with the investigation. I'm on it already. Oh. And and one tip for you, huh? Me? Try not to get in the Froyline detective's way. What? She's in a family today. Gee, I wonder why. We were all questioned as witnesses. And now none of us can go home. Yikes. We'll investigate, alright? Our way. Somehow I don't see us getting back to that crime scene anytime soon. I still can't believe I was there when it happened. Not an experience I care to repeat anytime soon. This is no time for naval ga gazing, huh? Let's crack this case! I worry about Tracy. She seems to have a very loose idea of what it means to be an attorney. <laughs> of course, that's not surprising considering who her father is. Something the matter? Uh, no. Let's get cracking! I'm the only one who was there. The only one who heard Mr. Latou's last words. Ask the siren. Oh, 
First order of business is to find out what he meant by siren. I mean, I know that already. To ensure the efficiency and secrecy of our investigation, the bear is hereby ordered to speak to no one outside the investigation concerning any details of the case. By the district police chief. Oh, it's you. I figured you'd come. Yes, let us investigate the scene, please. We're attorneys now. Shouldn't you wait until you have a client? The two did tell me to ask the witness, the siren. This dying breath, no less. Does that count? Glare at me all you want. She'll get no snacks from me. Please! Think of poor Lum Roar! Huh. Oh well, I suppose. You did find the body with me. Great, let's get to it. Right! Just try not to touch anything. I'll try. She's letting us look. She's not munching her snacks. I suppose well. There are clues here, I can feel it. Leave no hanger unhung, no spot unspotted. Are these bullet holes? Looks like it. There are two here in the wall. From the look of it, the victim was shot once in the shoulder. The first shot was must must have missed. There are two holes. What does that mean, two misses? The murder weapon is a 45 caliber revolver. It's very powerful. I believe what we're seeing here is the mark left by the second bullet after it passed through his shoulder. Ouch, sounds painful. No kidding, I wonder about this murder weapon. Ooh, what a pretty bruise! Oh, Emma! You're not going to say, can I have it please, are you? Oh. Look, you may be a cute little girl of 15. But that doesn't get you any special treatment with me. Oh. It's not healthy to envy the young, Emma. Ha! <laughs> it's not about envy. It's about tampering with evidence. Note to self, Emma lacks a sense of humor. Use caution. You need to learn to respect your elders a little. Something seems so familiar about that brooch. Huh. Isn't it the sirens? I don't know. Sort of pin fastener for attaching things to clothes. No safety pin type though. So if it's not a safety pin, is it a danger pin? <laughs> I suppose if you snuck it in your eye, then yeah, sure. But you could do that with a safety pin too, for that matter. Thanks for taking the fun out of my danger pin. Oh, you're driving a danger pin through my heart here. Okay. Ooh, Apollo! Can I eat some of those, please? Absolutely not. I know, I know. But still, I yearn. Look, you're not the only one eyeing that fruit here. What? Well, then what are you waiting for? Let's eat! Right. Whoa, 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 stop it. Are you too crazy? Emma, you of all people should know better. But she tempted me. She's a... She's a temptress. Please, grow up. Another ladder. Actually, it's technically a step ladder. Well, hello, Miss Fancy Pants. Please forgive my lack of ladder discrimination. I'm less worried about the step ladder and more worried about why it's there. Why is the ladder there? Well, to climb, right? To reach something on the ceiling? There's a vent, though. I still say it's a step ladder. Look, there's a vent. 
What's wrong, Apollo? Your mouth is catching flies. <laughs> uh, nothing. It's nothing. Maybe that's how the killer escaped. That's what you were thinking, right? Eh. When we arrived on the scene, the killer had already fled. He or she must have had a way out. And that air vent is one possibility. But it's much too small. Hmm. Not if the killer were about your size, Trucy. Oh, no. I didn't do it! It... I was cutting up the dance floor at the time, thank you! I know, I know. Of course I don't think you did it. It's hard to tell with you sometimes, Apollo. Hey, what have I done? This gun is really big. A giant gun! This is the murder weapon, isn't it? This revolver. That's right. A big 45 caliber revolver. Wow. I wonder who brought this in here. I thought only police were allowed to have one of those. Well, gun control in Japanifornia isn't probably that strict. Why are you giving me that look? I didn't do it! I didn't... Listen, I was out in the hall eating snack foods when it happened. I mean, yeah, we saw. I know, I know! No one here thinks you did it, Emma. It's hard to tell with you sometimes, Apollo. Hey, what have I done? Wait, if the killer brought a revolver... It must mean that they had planned this from the start. That's right, right? How many bullets? The middle of the weapon is the revolving chamber. That's where you load the bullets. A revolver, see? Revolver, revolver. That sounds a bit like Wonder Bar. No! Especially if you say it really fast. I guess... You know what I, what I always used to think? I used to think the closest sound to Wonder Bar was one liver. There's just so many words in the world, Apollo. Isn't it amazing? So many different words, so many different people. People like Trucy. Right. Wait! Ah! Ugh! feel too good. I think I'm gonna kumor kumor guys because I don't know that my the hollow me the hollow me aftertaste is not so good. I don't know why. Right back. What's this? Look at all these presents. Lemurar sure is popular. Oh, I wonder what's inside. We, we can't open them, can we? Probably not a good idea. 
You never know what you might find in one of these boxes. Bombs, razors, ransom notes. Huh? Could be anything. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe my throat feels kind of bad, or I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna take lozenges. I'm never having a birthday party again. Ugh. Look, there's a little window over here. Maybe the killer escaped through that. It's barely big enough for me to get my head through. Not to mention, it only opens a crack. What? I was just saying it's possible! Right, right. Uh, no harm in that. Except I'm pretty sure it was impossible. You could peek into the room through it, though, you know. So the gun shot through here? Or what? I don't know. The gun, very deadly. You know, Paul, I was wondering, what's a caliber and what does 45 mean? Huh? Heh, you want me to tell you? It's the size of the barrel. Simply put, the larger the caliber, the bigger the round. So, 1000 caliber would be so big. The bullet, in other words. Bigger bullets do more damage. Wow, chalk one point out for forensic science. Hmm. I kind of want to kumur kumur, you know? I have this uh, little bit of... It's kind of like mouthwash, but slightly different. But I have nothing to this... Oh, yes, I have. One thousand caliber might as well be an anti-tank missile. I mean, I don't know. Okay, I'll um, I'll kumur ku I'll uh, not kumur ku I'll mouthwash myself. Yeah. How do I open this? Okay. Mm. 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 Please don't turn off the mic. Eh, I, I'm not planning to. my lozenges <sighs> ah no my mouth feels so much better you know it but it's not 45 inches right that would be too big what's the unit of measurement they use miss science well hush kids shouldn't ask so many questions I think it's 45 kilometers. Seeing these mirrors lined up like that makes me think I'm really in a dressing room. You're in a dressing room. Hmm, this must be makeup. I've never heard of most of these brands. Hey there, you Borginian. All I know is they sure don't make for much of a clue. Okay. What an amazing bouquet. I mean, it's giant. Not sure I approve. It would be better if this flower was a bit more... Oh. 
Yeah, the flower fell off! What happened to preserving the crime scene, Emma? It's fine! Fine! I'll just put it back, see? How scientific. Man. This girl is somehow worse than Gumshoe. I was like, yay, Emma! And then it turns out he's worse. she's worse than Gumshoe. <laughs> this is one of those uh, things, right? A permanent dryer. Want me to curl those bangs of yours? Eh, uh, no thanks. Better not mess with this hair, Emma. It's part of his identity, you know. <laughs> Powered of his identity, huh? That's a body, isn't it? Sure is. The victim, no less. Let's take a closer look. Yeah! Go ahead, Apollo. You first. Me? Nah, you should go first, Juicy. Really? Will you two stop bickering and get over here? She's munching on snack who's again. Hope she's not too annoyed. Oh... No clue. What do you mean, no clues here, huh? Oh, oh! Oh my god! Writing, but in weird language. Is that... blood? Uh, why don't you examine this one, Apollo? You know more about, uh, red stuff than I do. Yep. Says who? Something is strange about this blood, though. Is that what it looks like? He's so sad. Oh, what is he holding? Apollo, look at his hand! He's holding something. Hey! No touching! You can throw all the snacks that you'd like, Emma. But sooner or later, you're going to run out of them. Hmm, you raise a good point. I'm a bit intrigued by this scene. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, you see there? He's holding something. What's this? A key ring? You think it might belong to the killer? Certainly a possibility. What an unusual key ring. And what unusual keys. This could be a vital clue. Okay. The body was holding a key ring. I wonder what it could mean. It must mean something. It doesn't look like the kind of Mr. Latouche would use. So the question is, whose key ring is it? You're practically a detective there, Apollo. Practically? I'm glad it brings them so much joy to mock me. <laughs> Goral. I love how it just says Goral. It's Clavier's? There are three keys in this heart-shaped key ring. This middle key is shaped like... A guitar? I get it. It must be the key to a guitar case. A guitar case key. I'll bet I know who this belongs to. That's claviers, I think? Hmm. What's this poster? Let's see... The Summer Illegal Eagles production of Case Closed. Looks like a poster for a different show. One I wouldn't mind seeing real soon. There's another Gaviner's poster here. I'm just about sick of seeing those, personally. Maybe I'll tear it down, haha! <laughs> no tampering with the crime scene, Emma. Huh. Maybe there's something else I can tear to shreds. Don't look at me! <laughs> what is going on? Um... Oh! Oh! Apollo! Look at that thing! It's huge! That... That's TV! Uh, yeah, a wide flat screen TV. I want one of those. You 
you've been wanting for a long time in your salary, Junior. What? Wait till you're as famous as Mr. Wright was. Then dream. I don't think Daddy was ever rich. Even when he was in law. <laughs> Great. Just dump on my dreams, why don't you? Man, he just wants a flat screen TV. Tracy's still after that brooch, clearly. No way! If you want one that bad, get your daddy to buy it for you. Daddy always says... Juicy, if you want something, go find a bar with... Oh, and when in doubt, beg. Leave it to Mr. Wright. I should be concerned about Trucy's future. But I'm more concerned about the owner of that brooch. Right. That speaker was blaring at the time of the murder. That's for monitoring the stage from this room. Monitoring? It types in a real-time feed from the stage microphones. You also prefer knowing when your set is coming up. Yeah, I seem to recall it being loud and vaguely musical. I made it hard to hear Mr. Latou's last words. Alright, I think that's uh, it for this room. I can't comment on anything that's scientifically relevant. I am a forensic scientist after all. A self-styled one at least. Fine. It's because of the stage, actually. In the wings. Hmm, the stage looks empty. I was hoping to get a chance to talk to Prosecutor Gavin. No, oh, well, nothing to do but go to the crime scene, I guess. I guess. Hmm, really? There's nothing? They're telling us to go to the crime scene, but... There we go. Huh, looks like nobody's here. Prosecutor Gavin's probably busy with the case, too. No rest for the wicked. No rest for us either, Apollo. Let's get rocking. Hmm. What's that? Looks like some kind of future phone. Not a phone, a transceiver. It's called a headset. What's a headset doing on the floor? Wait, do you think Mr. Latouz might have been wearing it? Like one of those bodyguards? I don't think he was wearing one when we first met. The LED on this thing is lit. It must be on. Oh my god, eavesdrop! Eavesdrop time! Huh? No? Fine. The concert poster for the Guilty as Charged Storm. I love that name, Guilty as Charged. Seems kind of negative to me. Well, why don't we do the opposite? The magician Trucy presents the Innocent as Charged Tour! Kind of loses its impact, doesn't it? I'm thirsty, Apollo. Uh, want something to drink? How about this one? A steel samurai soda. Now in real steel flavor. Mm. Huh? Here, my treat. Hey, this is enough change! The machines outside are cheaper. This one is highway robbery. <laughs> instrument case, a big instrument case. There's a great magic trick you can do with one of these. Huh? What kind? The miraculous beautiful girl escapes the case illusion. There's the girl who's miraculous, not the escape. <laughs> so picky! Okay. Um, anything. Okay, blue badger. That's the blue badger, the police mascot. Does the blue badger have something to do with the band? Well, yeah. The blue badger is the governor's mask. What? What do you mean is the governor's mascot? Huh, go figure. I heard those things fly off the shelves. I have to say, I could closer look at some one someday. No, there's no need. I swear to God. Okay. 
And you know what? Let's move. Move where though? There's nothing here. There's nothing, nothing, nothing's changed though. What, what do you mean everything changed? That guitar, that's the legendary AA400! The Red Badger! Huh? She knows? I thought Rock was supposed to be rebellious, not civic. Every aspiring guitarist wants one of these! They even paint their own guitars to look like it! Ah, uh, the fickleness of you. You should dye your hair badger red, too! I like my hair the way it is. Thank you very much. Ah, the stubbornness of age! Those are some pretty heavy-duty gloves. Maybe they have to carry around hot pots or something. They're a little thick. I couldn't even stuff a pigeon in those. What? That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright. What about the patrol guitar? Ooh, a cruiser guitar! They sold those to commemorate five years of the band. Rocking it hard under the speed limit. <laughs> There's a cruiser bass, and a cruiser drum set, and a cruiser keyboard. Even a cruiser whistle. I'm not so sure about that last one. It's for blowing the whistle on criminals. I don't think that requires an actual whistle, Trucy. Mm. Why is that plastic bowl of stew sitting there? Maybe they use it for interrogating bad guys. Fess up to what you did, and we'll let you eat that stew. That's just mean. It gets worse! See, if the bad guy confesses, they say... Okay, eat it. If you can! See? It's made of plastic! It's like, you don't know what which ones are the real bad guys! I think you need to take a deep breath, Trucy. <laughs> Look! It's a postcard of Lamy Roar! What are these letters at the bottom? Never seen those before. It must be your native tongue, Borginian. Borginian, huh? Okay. Yeah, um, the first step was to like, ooh, proof that siren means nyo 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 nyo. That's it. Oh, now I can check profiles. Now I can check profiles. Someone drew the governor's mark in lipstick here. Lipstick? I'd like to wear lipstick someday. Oh, you don't use lipstick yet, Trucy? Daddy won't let me. Not until I learn to play piano, he says. Huh? I'll be waiting a long time then, I'm afraid. Copcore! A police uniform hangs on the stand here. Ooh, I want to try it on. Nothing to see here. Move along. It's okay. You don't have to be go that far to be special. I mean, you're not exactly the type who's just another face in the crowd. <laughs> really? You think so? Mm, I guess you're right. Now I feel like a meanie for making that insinuation. Right. Uh... Okay. What's a police recruitment poster doing here? Rock on the with the police. Maybe they're trying to trick kids into thinking the police are some kind of band. But that's just silly. Who would name a band the police? <laughs> yeah, this band's aesthetic is copcore. The speaker looks familiar. Oh. Uh, yeah, like the one for the PA system back in school. Oh, we have one of those in my classroom, too. That's right, she's still in junior high. I feel old. Oof. Feeling old yet? Justice? Um, this place is decorated like a high school dance. Though I think our decorations were paper, not chains. <laughs> the governors are into chains. It's part of their image. Oh, no kidding. Ever since they used change on the cover art for Gonna Lock You Up. <laughs> what are these song titles? 
They're really into the whole police thing, aren't they? It would be cooler if they turned that red light on. You don't have to turn on the red light. Alright, 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 so... Oh, yeah, everything done. So, we can go... To... Uh, the dressing room and talk to them. Uh. She doesn't care. Oh, so this is the murder weapon? This revolver is incredibly heavy. It's been fired twice. You can still smell the gunpowder. That's odd. What's odd? Um, oh, nothing. Hey, no fair! Tell us! It's just something about this revolver seems... Strange. Strange? Oh, oops. What is so strange about it? Mr. Roman Latus, wasn't it? He was Levirar's manager and interpreter, apparently. Ah! This was his first time in this country. Hmm, so I'm guessing he didn't know many people here. It doesn't seem likely. Nor can I think of anyone with a motive to murder him. Except for one person, of course. One person? Who? Lummy Roar. No one here might have had a motive, but she's from... What are you talking about? Uh, hey, it was Emma's idea! What? I said nothing. Always with the snacks. He's a big man. Or was. I didn't get that. I don't think even I would win in a fight with him. Which is why whoever it was used a revolver, I'm guessing. I've sent a request to the Virginian emb Embassy for more info on him. Alright. Oh, I guess, like, nobody has a motive, but, uh, but... Let me roar, because they're from the same country, I guess. So they know each other, blah blah blah. Well, you and I know more about the crime than anyone. You do? That's true. It was us who found the body. Whoa! Huh. I guess that's what I missed for watching the concert. Hey, I wish I was watching the concert. Anything would be better than this. <laughs> well, we know the crime took place during the concert. And when we heard the shot and entered the room, the killer was already gone. What? That doesn't make sense! You came in when you heard the shot and no one was here? Maybe it's fake. Maybe it's like played from the PA system or some crap. I don't know. How did they leave the room? Hmm, that window is a little too small, isn't it? The mystery of the disappearing killer. What do you think about this revolver? Well, it's pretty big and heavy. That's right, it's a 45 caliber. Makes it one of the deadliest revolvers around. Even the police don't carry guns this big. Really? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. We don't need so much power to kill at such close range. Well, what if it's super long range then? <laughs> it's overkill. I'm not sure I see the problem. I mean, whenever I go out to eat curry, I order it extra spicy. Just to be sure it's spicy. Of course, I can only ever eat one or two bites. Uh, that's not a problem. There's another thing about a gun this big. It puts a lot of strain on the shooter. So that means he has to be either very strong or he's just, he just have messed up... Messed up limbs or something. Strain? Yeah, say if you were to fire this revolver... The recoil would probably dislocate your shoulder. Prowl! Ouch! It's like the shooter is a victim too! Yet, the killer used this revolver and quite well. I'm guessing whoever did it was used to shooting. Used to shooting a caliber weapon? Hmm. Well, that's about it. I think we've looked at just about everything there is. I guess you're right. 
I know how you're feeling. It's hard to work when... It's hard to know when to stop. But anything more involved has to wait until the squad gets here. Uh, I suppose. I'll go report the evidence. Sorry, but could you wait here till I get back? Uh, great! Thanks! Okay. She left. What do we do, Apollo? We sleep. She told us to wait. Great, now how am I supposed to investigate? Oh well, I guess it can't be helped. Let's go. Huh? Go? Time's a-wasting, Apollo. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Well, that's true, but... No second thought. Why not? I'm sure everything will be fine. Of course it will. Let's go! Ah, <sighs> fine. Let's move. There. We didn't just imagine that, did we? He was wearing a silk hat. Friend of yours? Hardly! Whoever that was, he sure looks suspicious. Hmm? What is it with today? Problem after problem. Achtung! You ain't kidding. It's the two leading members of the governors, Apollo. Clavier on vocals and Darion on guitar. They're so cool! I have a hard time thinking of Clavier as anything but a prosecutor, honestly. Huh? What are they arguing about? Probably the case, I'd bet. My hog won't start, my guitar case is busted. My guitar's been burnt to a crisp, and to top it all off, someone's dead. And then there was that performance just now. What was that all about? Hey, man, don't blame me. You're the one who missed the cue. Me? Miss a cue? How could I conceivably get the most important part of that song wrong? How? And what was all that tinny playing of yours? Who are you calling tinny? Sounds like they're having a spat. One of those differences in musical direction bands are always splitting up over. This is hardly the time. Hmm? What are you two doing here? Uh, uh, I, uh... Maybe just discussing the investigation, if you don't mind. Sorry. Wait, you were what? Listen. You need to confirm that with the Republic of Virginia, Detective Crescent. Right. Anything else? What did he just call him? Detective... Oh, greetings. Oh my god, he's a detective! Darian Crescent, Criminal Affairs, Division 3. Oh my god. That's why it's cop court, because they're like, actual cops. Uh, hello. Criminal affairs? Uh, Apollo, you really don't know anything about the governors, do you? Something tells me that's about to be remedied. Oh my goodness. Uh, how about the crime? Which crime do you mean? The murder? What else? Oh, that. For me, today has been a hit parade of crimes, you see? Prosecutor Gavin was singing the blues earlier, wasn't he? Something about his hog and his guitar case. Anyways, I'm afraid you know more about the killing of Mr. Latouz than I do. For now, at least. Huh? You were the one who found the body, yeah? Well, we were in the middle of a performance, no less. Aren't you going to examine the crime scene, Prosecutor Gavin? I'll leave that to Fräulein Detective. We don't want to step on our toes. Toe Mansion! They're not exactly best buddies, are they? Emma and Prosecutor Gavin, I mean. Well, what did they do next? We've already checked out the scene. Prosecutor Gavin may be right. He might be the most informed. For once. Maybe Prosecutor Gavin can shed some light on things we found. 
I don't believe you, Apollo. How can you come to this concert and not know about the Gaviners? It's not surprising. Why? Even our ancestors knew nothing of America's existence once. Huh? Uh, I know America exists. The Gaviners aren't just an average rock band, Apollo. Each member is connected to the police somehow. The police? The real police! By day, they pack heat. But by night, they heat up the stage. By day, those lips interrogate. By night, they sing songs of unrequited passion. Uh, okay. They debuted seven years ago with 13 years hard time for love. Then came love with no chance of parole. And my boyfriend is the prosecution's witness. The list of hits goes on and on. This year's my right hand man, and Darian Crescent. I made the melodies, and he attacks them with his guitar. He's a bit of a rogue, really. Heh. <laughs> and this guy's a bit of a perfectionist. When a performance goes the least bit wrong, he goes into this funk. Just like today. I hope murder would be a bit more off putting than a ruined concert. The concert today? A disaster! I'll get to the bottom of this and then we'll see who missed the cue. The missed cue. They were arguing about that before. Great. I love nothing more than questioning tormented artists. Maybe there's a connection with this. What's this missed cue you keep talking about? Aha! You heard it, didn't you? From the audience? No. I didn't notice anything. See? No amateur is going to pick up on that. Can you guarantee an entire audience of amateurs? No! Now take a listen to this! What's that? A mixing board. We used it to record our concert tonight. Aren't we supposed to be investigating a murder? Well, we've come this far. Might as well go all the way. I've always wanted to learn about the recording industry. Okay. Something about the murder will be recorded here. This is but one of the devices used in recordings. For a five-part ban. This lets us record each member's per oh, performance separately. Okay. Use the sliders to adjust the volume for each part. Check it out. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, I gotcha. It's the single out. It's a single up who made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, neat. So could you say here only the drum part? Of course. That's how we'll find the criminal guilty of missing his cue and oh jeez. I'm more concerned with the other criminal. The one who kills people. You want to help on the case? Then help me with mine. I guess rock and roll comes before prosecuting. Let's begin. First, we bring up the part of the performance in question. You simply choose the section of the song you wish to hear in the uppermost bar. Like so. Like what? There it is. Now listen. Yeah? Was something wrong? You couldn't hear it? Listen again closely. I don't care. The timing's a little off, isn't it? I don't care. You see? There, right at the most important part. And even an amateur can hear it. An amateur with a mixing board, maybe. You're missing the point. We'll never stamp out crime until we're perfect. There he goes again. Right. Her amateur. Her amateur, you will prove my point. Uh, me? You'll find the missed cue. You'll tell us which instrument, which part is the guilty party. But now, did I not move the sliders with LS and all the look? Yeah. Then you will find the part. Yes. Yeah. I kind of agree with the shark dude, by the way. First, a quick review. Use LS and LS to, yeah, up and down. Jump to the section with bumpers. And use blah 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 to switch parts. Okay.
Oh, okay. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. This is the base. This looks okay. Oh, it's him. It's the rhythm guitar. Take that! Which is that? Mm, second guitar. Uh. It was you, Darian! <laughs> ah, well, looks like the cat's out of the bag. Oh, well, that's all you have to say! That kind of attitude lets killers walk free, Darian! Here they go again. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to ask about the concert. It's starting to feel like we're just wasting time. It's all experience under our belts. That can't be bad. Nice. I still can't get over the title for that song. Guilty love? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to talk about that right now. Even I can only take so much in one day. Funny, I always thought of Prosecutor Gavin as one of those cool stoic types. He's the sort that never complains. How wrong I was. Well, he got, you know, his button pushed, I guess. I was wondering if he knew anything about this. Th th that. Does it look familiar? Familiar? It's mine. That's my key ring. I've been looking all over for it. What? This is yours, Mr. Gavin? I knew it. Apollo! How can you make that I knew it face? This is the key ring that was. Yeah, I know. Thanks anyway. So, where'd you find it? Uh, actually, the victim was holding it. Like he was trying to keep it from the killer. Even if it meant his life. What? What? The victim? You mean Mr. Latouz had my keys? Indeed. Mm. When will my trials be over? Speaking of trials, I've never heard Mr. Gavin whine in court like he has been today. Emma was right about the fop, I'll give her that. Apollo! Mr. Gavin, maybe we can help. Tell us about your troubles today. I really don't think that's... Tell us. And we'll keep mum about the keyring for now. Are you blackmailing me, Fräulein? You were saying something about your motorcycle not starting? And something about your guitar case being busted? You're well informed. You mentioned it a few times. Ah, ah, it happened this morning. It's all this keyring's fault. Their keyring? It's got all my keys on it, yeah? My bike key, my car key, and the key to my guitar case. Wait, so this key ring? It disappeared. I thought I'd put it in my jacket pocket. <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin's key ring. Disappeared? I had to come to the concert by taxi. How embarrassing. And in order to get my guitar out, I had to break the lock. Wait, this guitar wasn't the one that... The very one. Up in flames. And right on stage too. I actually thought that was part of the show. Crazy. And to top it off, Mr. Latouse's wife was taken. Nobody told me about days like these. Strange days indeed. 
You think? What's wrong, Trucy? Well, I was just trying to make sense of everything. First, this heart shaped keyring gets stolen. And a very expensive guitar flares up on stage. Then Mr. Latouze dies. Yes, and? Could it all really be just a coincidence? Coincidence? Meaning? Dorian, can, can you make any sense of all this? Hey, don't look at me. What do you think, Apollo? Huh? I mean, either Mr. Gavin's having a really bad day... ...or all this was planned. You... I'm thinking what I think you're thinking. Are you, Fraulein? I am. What? What? Hey, don't leave me in the dark with Spike here. The name is Apollo, but yeah, I agree. Don't leave us in the dark. What are you talking about? Haven't you noticed a connection, Apollo? A curious connection between all of Mr. Gavin's troubles today. Well, I have noticed. You know, something was bugging me too. That keyring and the guitar and the body. Slow down there, Polly. You look a wee bit dizzy. He's bluffing. He hasn't figured it out. I did. Fess up if you're a man. You're as clueless as I am. Oh my god, he's boing boing. His laughing is boing boing, huh? No, no. Give head forehead a chance. Let's see your evidence of the connection, shall we? Evidence? I'd better think of something pronto. Come on, come on, come on! Let's see it! What's the connection between all of Mr. Gavin's troubles? Huh? What? The troubles is the car won't start, the guitar case won't end, and the, 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 the connection is this. The key ring. I don't know. Connection is this, right? Eh! You're close, but really, you're kind of far. Remote, even. What is it? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. When you stole away the keys... Burning on. Like a bullet. Fire. Take my life away. And guitar. This isn't it. A lyric sheet? The guitar serenade? What's that got to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. Although I wouldn't have believed it if the Fräulein hadn't pointed it out. What are you talking about, man? Enough of the riddles. Maybe it's a coincidence or perhaps it means something. Don't you think, Fräulein? I do. Everything that's happened to Mr. Gavin today is predicted in the lyrics to this song. Chocolate logi moment, man. No way! Look, just think about everything that's happened to Mr. Gavin. Let's list them in the order that they occurred. While reading this lyric sheet. First, the keyring was stolen. And not just any keyring, a heart shaped keyring. That's right here. When you stole away the keys, my heart held on to so tight. This is a heart holding keys. And next, his guitar burst into flames. Burning on in my heart, fire burned my love away. And then Mr. Latouse was killed. Like a bullet of love, fire take my life away. But, but, but that's crazy! Yeah, no kidding! So everything that happened today here... This song predicted it all? Or perhaps it was the other way around. But isn't this like the first time the song was shown in the concert? Or not? Huh? The criminal could have based their crime on the lyrics. But who would go through all that trouble? Someone who moves in mysterious ways, no doubt. I believe you've stumbled upon something quite vital and quite annoying, Fräulein. 
Looks pleased. Larry's predicting the crime, Clavier. Seems a bit more than just a queen kidding to me. I have to agree. The keyring, the guitar, and the murder. The keyring might have been dropped by accident. But the victim was holding it. Hard to think that it was unconnected. That's true. Prosecutor Gavin's as calm as collected as ever. Alright. So the criminal matched their actions to the lyrics? That sounds likely. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. Because they're not creative. While we think about that, I'm going to get cracking on the biggest crime here. I'm going to talk to the Borgina Embassy about this Mr. Latus. Oh, right. Thanks, Darian. I'll leave the pondering of mysteries to you. I'm out of here. Looks like the, you know, the plot of Human Centipede to, like, this guy's inspired and he does his own thing. Hold on. Uh, let me stretch. Uh, uh, mm. A foreign national, uh, Mr. Latouse, was killed. It seems like that would have to be the point of all this. They left us with not only a murder, but a mystery. Mr. Gavin sure is irritable today. Maybe this is the real Prosecutor Gavin we don't get to see in the courtroom. Yeah, he gets really irritated when, you know, music is his life, I guess. When somebody messes with his band. I've had enough, frankly. If you find any more mysteries, do me a favor and keep them to yourselves, yeah? Yeah. I guess this is all we're going to get from Prosecutor Gavin. That leaves Lemmy Roar to question. Oh my god, how can we even... Um, the interpreter is dead, though. Prosecutor Gavin, uh, do you know where Lemmy Roar is now? Uh, I had her go to my dressing room. The pianist, Machi Tobai, of course. Much to buy. Um, I don't know what, how that reads. She seemed rather shocked by Mr. Latou's sudden passing. The Gaviner's dressing room. Got it. Who's there? Who is he? There he goes again. Who is that guy? Huh? Trucy? You know, he did look sort of familiar. So he's a friend of yours. No, that's not it. Mm, sorry, I don't remember. Curiouser and curiouser. Fuck. Ah, uh, Lamro! What? What has happened? Oh my god, why will she speak his English? I heard that Mr. Latouse has died. Uh, so it was a uh, gimmick? Lamro, you speak? I mean, you speak English? Uh, yes. I was invited here from the Republic of Virginia. But I am not Virginian by birth. Wasn't Mr. Latouse your interpreter? Uh, that, yes. Well... It was Mr. Latouse's idea. He thought it would add to the mystery, you see. Then your pianist is also... not blind? No, Machitobe is Borginian. Oh, okay, sorry, Borginian, not not blind. I thought like... <laughs> oh, since you can speak English, maybe he's not actually blind? <laughs> My bad, jeez, I'm sorry. Okay, he's Borginian. He does not speak English. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Now, please tell me. What has happened to Mr. Latouse? Why did he... Actually, Mr. Latouse was... Juicy! Uh, remember what Prosecutor Gavin said. Not a word. But, but, but Mr. Latouse is Lavarore's manager. That's not fair to her. I mean, isn't she a related party? 
Precisely who Prosecutor Gavin doesn't want to alert, I'd suspect. All we have been told is to wait here in this room. It is very unsettling. I'm sorry, we're trying to figure it out ourselves. Do you think I could ask you some questions? Of course, I'm always willing to help. She says calm as she looked on stage. I can't put my finger on why, but I like this flame roar. Yeah. Kamehameha, orang sujud, fish, dancing, uh, spider eye, dancing arrow, uh, waves, question mark, pendant, dot, dot, dot. What is it, Machi? Fish, necklace, centaur, dancing man, dancing man with no head but more fingers, um, spider egg, dancing, a leaf, kamehameha, orang sujut, f-zooming, scissors, leaf, reflexia, dude, roach, dancing arrow, waves, question mark, pendant, dot, dot, dot. What? But you'd be alone. Dancing arrow, fish, dancing arrow, necklace, centaur, dancing man, leaf, pendant, scissors, f zoom in, dancing man, but uh, with more hands and no head, spider egg, a uh, leaf, wave, fish, question mark, pendant, kamehameha, orang sujud. What seems to be the problem? This is like us Indonesians talking with each other. One person replies in Indonesian, one person replies in English. It, it happens, trust me. Machi, he's not good around strangers. He wishes to go out for a breath of, breath of fresh air. Would that be alright? Uh, sure, of course. Very well. What is it you wish to ask me about? Ooh, nice BGM. I like it. The Republic of Virginia. That's in Northern Europe, right? I've never even heard of it. I started out singing in a restaurant. Then a producer called me. Before I knew it, here I am. You don't say. You know, my daddy plays piano in a restaurant. Producers tend to look for talent, Trucy. Ha! <laughs> Oof! Let me roar. You're not from Virginia originally. Were you born here? Well... Oh, is that supposed to be a secret? Image is everything when you're a star. I know a bit about that, of course. Uh, yes, it is something like this. A contract, you might say. She's under the NDA! I'm also not to speak anything but Borginian in public. Image is important, I guess. She is not all image, though. Her songs are lovely. A real landscape, landscape painter in sound. A painter in what? She travels the world, turning the signs she sees into music. That's the secret to your music's beauty, right? You're very perceptive. Oh, I use your songs all the time in my stage acts. I don't have to pay royalties for that, do I? Stop while you're ahead, Trucy. <clears throat> this landscape painter in sound, too, is an image. Yet without it, my songs would not be so widely heard. They even call you the siren of the ballad, right? Yeah, see? It's her. Yes, in Borginian, Lem Roar means... The siren. I fear that, perhaps, already, I am not the siren I once was. Your pianist. Machi, was it? He's cute. Like a porcelain doll. He's very... European. <laughs> Exotic European... I met him while singing in restaurants in Virginia. He's an orphan. Yet his playing is exquisite. Soon he came to live with me. It's like a fairy tale almost. 
I notice he hardly leaves your side. European? Question mark. Is he, uh, you know... Yes, well, he is blind. At first, I hesitated at dragging him across the world. He doesn't speak English either, does he? He had never left Virginia before we met. I made his presence part of my contract. Machi and I together are Lamy Roar. Together, always. Mr. Latouse was my new manager. New? Yes, from three months ago. Around when I received Mr. Gavin's invitation to come. I met Mr. Latouse at my office. He was to be my manager and bodyguard. And, as it turned out, my interpreter. Interpreter, even though you speak English. Yes, but we were to visit more places than just here. We had a concert in Japan scheduled after this one. Although I fear that may have to be cancelled now. Was Mr. Latus from Republic of Virginia too? Well, he was only with me for three months. I'm afraid there is much I do not know about him. What if he's like actually super shady? And now, I shall never know. No one will ever tell me why he has died. I'm sorry. Prosecutor Gavin said we weren't to talk to anyone. Mr. Latouse was a talented man. The siren of the ballad. That phrase was his idea, you know? I am happy for him that it has become so well known. The siren. That's what he meant! Huh? Apollo? You are the siren, right, Lamoror? That is the meaning of my name in Virginian, yes. It was the name my producer gave me, but why do you ask? It's very important. I had to know for sure if the siren was you. What do you mean, important? I'll tell you. You deserve to know. Siren. It turns out that's a very important word in this case. Uh, how? When we found Mr. Latus, he was still alive. <gasps> what? I heard him say something. His last words. Hmm. Flashback again. Let's drink. Stay hydrated. Mr. Latus, can you hear me? Ask witness. Hang in there, Mr. Latus. Tell me, who was the witness? The witness is Siren. He said Siren. Really? I was the only one there to hear it. But I'm sure that's what he said. Mr. Latus said that? Ask the witness. And you're the siren, Lamiroar. Did you see what happened? Uh -oh. Lamiroar? Might I ask, are you with the police? I mean... Yeah, uh, well, no, I'm a defense attorney. <laughs> if she's, if she's, if she's, if she's not saying anything, that means she's the, she's a silent siren. <laughs> like the band. An attorney? Yet there have been no arrests, yes? Is that a problem? Does an attorney not work for a client? If you have no clients, you should leave the investigation to the police, I think. But let me roar! We... I am sorry, but I cannot answer your questions. I'm afraid you like the authority to ask them. Why? 
she witnessed the crime, when will she tell us? I believe you're through here. I believe so. Sag. I wish I could help you. Don't worry about it. Certainly one of the most pleasant refusals I've had. <laughs> okay, bye. We need something else to assure her that we are like, you know... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we have to... Maybe we have to talk to her again, present stuff. Oh, that reminds me. Does this brooch look familiar to you? My brooch! Yes! Well, it may be mine. Yours, Lemurorn? I was wearing a brooch earlier, you see. I must have lost it. Well, that explains the brooch we found. It was Lemurorn's! Thank you. I was wondering where I dropped it. Erm, um, about that! So this brooch belongs to her. That begs the question. Is something wrong, Apollo? What was this brooch doing at the crime scene? Stick him up. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe she wants to see the mixing work. You never know. Oh my god, no, stop. I don't want to play Guilty Low. Okay, nothing much. Guess we move. Now that she has confirmed that it's her brooch, yes. Okay. Whoa, who's there now? Oh my god, it's her. Ah, uh, it's you. Where were you? Uh, Emma! Is something wrong? She looks grumpier than usual. You bet something's wrong. The impossible's happened. Uh, it's all your fault, you know. Oops, maybe this is about us leaving the crime scene. What do you mean by impossible? Well, it's gone. Utterly gone. What's gone? The body, stupid. What else? Eh? Mr. Latou's body has disappeared. What? Sorry, I, admittedly I didn't check. Uh, Prosecutor Gavin. What happened to the tiny girl that's like, Ooh, science! Maybe she's got a portion of life's hardship. From your vacant stare, I gather you've heard of the news. I heard Mr. Latouse's body has gone missing. Look for yourself. Ta-da. Quite the pickle. Quite the pickle. How can you just stand there? We have to start the invest. There's no need for alarm, Fräulein Detective. All entrances and exit have been sealed. The body will not leave the building. So, I suggest we go find ourselves a ca ca cadaver. There will be plenty of time to ponder the whys later. Well, you seem pretty sure of yourself, Mr. Gavin. Oh, we'll find him. I'm rather enjoying this. How could Mr. Latou's body just disappear? Well, you heard the man. Let's get searching. Hey, I don't know if this is exactly the right time, but... Yes, Dorian? See? Geeter's gone missing. He was in the dressing room. <gasps> the guitar? Geeter? Who's Geeter? That's what I call my guitar. You like, man? Your guitar was stolen? Boing, boing, dude. This hasn't been a good day for guitars or geeters. Okay, body first, then guitar. And if someone finds that guitar, please bring it to our dressing room. 
Peter's like a missing person, not lost and found, man. Well, this sure is a... What did he call it? A sausage? <laughs> no, wait, it was a pickle. And it's your pickle. I told you to stay in the room. Uh, sorry. Not much else I can say. It's alright. Top priority now is finding that body. You can make it up to me later. Ten bags or so of chocolate snackoos should do the trick nicely. You should watch your sugar intake, Emma. Right. Um, hold on. Just hold it right there. This is no time to be waving a bag of snackoos in my face. It's not a bag of snackoos. Look, what's important is that Mr. Latus's body is missing, and if you've got to find it, she would be more convincing if you weren't standing around eating her precious snackoos. Okay. Let's present. Let's see if she cares about anything that we have. She really doesn't care about anything. Alright, fine. Let's find the body. Ugh. Eh, that was new. Does something seem different to you, Apollo? Something is definitely different here. Let's check it out! Oh, yeah. That stage there must have been lured before. That's the tower that Lamoureux and Prosecutor Gavin were singing on. Someone must have raised it. Hmm, there will see a way to control it from here. Apollo, what about that ladder there against the wall? We could use that to take a look up top. Maybe we should get Emma. <laughs> what are you talking about? We have to see this sort of thing for ourselves. I'm not so good with heights. Stop whining and start climbing. <sighs> it didn't look that high from below, really. But when we got to the top, I felt every one of those 15 feet down. Of course, I wasn't thinking about the height anymore. Not after what we found up there. Whose body? <gasps> we found two things we were looking for, and one thing we never expected to find. No, don't tell me let me roar, Sand. Oh! It's Machi! The body, the guitar in hand, and the pianist, Machi Tobei. And then I guess let me roar will be our client. Hello. Oh my, a body has been discovered. <laughs> wow, that concert last night sure went south in a hurry. No kidding. Why did they arrest Machi? Why? It. Oh, he's not dead? Okay. Don't look at me like it's my fault. Machi Tobai, the blind pianist. Arrested on suspicion of murdering Romain Latus. Oh! I can't believe such a cute little boy could do something so horrible! I guess they had proof of some kind. What proof? Morning? Prosecutor Gavin? What an eye day! I apologize for being so upset. Mr. Gavin, do you know what's going on? Why did they arrest Machi? Why? Don't look at him like it's his fault either. It was tough for me too. We performed together that night after all, yet. Yet? The powers that be say that, uh, given the circumstances, it could only have been him. What do you mean by circumstances? Larry Worm was invited from Virginia as an ambassador of goodwill. It is vital that this case be wrapped up swiftly. That's all the powers that we want, really. Well, those are circumstances, all right. But what makes Machi the only possible suspect? 
bare forehead. You seem to have forgotten that you're talking to the prosecution. The enemy. Oh, right. Yeah, Machi gonna be our client, I guess? I think I like this side of Prosecutor Gavin better, actually. I'm not at liberty to discuss the particulars of the case. Especially not to the defense attorney. What did you just say? Me? The defense attorney? That's what I came to tell you. He's down at the detention center. He wants to request your services. He? You mean Machi? Machi wants me? Oh my god, he wants you! This is what we've been waiting for, Apollo! Let's get going! Yeah, uh, right. Good luck. How are they gonna communicate, though? I'm up to question Lemmy Roar. Alright, later. I hope I'm up to this. You're just gonna accuse a guy? A tiny guy? A tiny cute guy? I refuse to believe a cute little kid like that could do something so terrible. You said that already. Ooh, shrink! Machi, everything's going to be okay! We're here for you. Uh, hi, maybe you can tell me about last night? Oh my god. Pendant, leaf, scissors, dancing man, necklace, centaur, scissors, leaf, f zooming, roach, dancing arrow, question mark, dancing person with no head, necklace, centaur, la fresh, your fleshy, a dude, waves, fish, and orang sujut, dot, dot, dot. Huh? Oh no! He's in pain! That was when I realized how tough it must be. A little kid like this. In a country so far from everything he's ever known. Oh no. Maybe Lami War can help? But she's to speak in Borginian. Didn't Prosecutor Gavin says she was with him? Good luck. I'm off to question Lemmy Roar. Well, what are we gonna do? Get a new interpreter? That's, um, a good question. Oh yeah, flashback number three. Drink up, guys. Let's just drink up on flashback. We hydrate whenever there's a flashback. I can't think of anything we can do but go with this. And hope for the best at the trial tomorrow. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, I see. Awesome. Overwrite the save already? Yes. I'll do idle meeting. I'll be right back.
It's trial time! I'm kinda hungry, but it's so late. It's too late to order stuff at this time, I think. Or is it? Court is now in session for... Uh, how do I say that? Machi Tobei, your honor. The pixie of the arpeggio. What? Right, his trial. Uh, court is in session. The defense is ready, your honor. The prosecution is A-OK, -okay, Herr Judge. Uh, very well. Uh, Prosecutor Gavin. <laughs> Uh, my opening statement, yeah? No, no, actually, uh, there was something else I wanted to ask you about. Yes? Say you're going to visit someone in the hospital with an incurable disease. What do you say to them? Um, get better soon? <laughs> Take care? Eh? I mean, you wouldn't say get well soon, right? Yeah, that's why I get better soon. You'd only be kicking them when they're down. Yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, actually, I'm going to visit someone who is terminally ill. Right after this trial, the Chief Justice's son. Who? The Chief Justice... His son is afflicted with the most terrible disease. He doesn't have long, it seems. Oh. So I thought I'd go pay him a visit. I thought saying something moving might be the order of the day. Why don't grown-ups ever just say what's on their mind instead of pretending? He's looking at me with something like... <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? In any case... <laughs> can't believe he died of Steve Jobs. Who's Steve Jobs? I'm a bit busy today, so let's wrap this up quickly. Prosecutor Gavin, your opening statement briefly. You're in luck, Herr Judge. I believe you'll be going on your hospital visit sooner than you think. First, to review the victim in this case. Robin Latouste, age 35. The global manager for a diva songstress, Lummy Roar. The cause of death, blood loss due to being shot by a large caliber revolver. This report has all the details. He's only 35. Maybe he's living, he's living a life, uh, I don't know, with a lot of stress or whatever. Don't judge him. Yo, I really don't know what to order. Martabak tipker nga si Anji? Kayaknya enak deh. Martabak. Tipker, us, yummy. Ooh, hoo, ini enak banget nih martabak ini nih. Nih, enak banget nih. Nih martabak. Oh, ini enak banget nih martabak. Apa ya? Uff, ini kok ada macam-macam ya enak banget. Ih, kok aku lapar jadinya. Tipker. Tapi martabak telurnya dia juga enak. I'm trying to get martabak, but I wonder if I should get the sweet one or the eh one or the I don't know. Everything is good. Everything is good. The the savory one, the savory one and the sweet one is good. But I think I'm in the mood for the sweet one. In edge deh. Nah, in edge ni. Ayo, kita pasti bisa. Okay. 
There's no half and half. It's really big. The court accepts this into evidence. Sorry, I'm done ordering. Latus's autopsy report. Death due to loss of blood from a gunshot wound. Estimated time of death, 9 to 9.30. 45 caliber. That's quite large, isn't it? A direct hit from that could knock a man off his feet. Sorry, Your Honor. I was famished. However, the bullet struck him in his shoulder. The damage to the body was slight. Death was not immediate. Sadly, his blood loss was such that he could not be saved. Hmm, I suppose the victim's condition could have been much worse, considering... Two shots were fired. One shot missed, the other penetrated and passed through the victim's shoulder. Both bullets were found in the wall at the scene. Observe the diagram. Oh, okay, that's weird as heck because one is blocked off by the wall. It doesn't align. Then how? I see. The court accepts this evidence. If we're talking about a 45 caliber revolver... We must assume that the killer was adept at the weapon's use. Really? Yeah, apparently weapons that size have a powerful kickback! Dun, 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 dun. If, say, the judge tried to fire one, it would break every bone in his body. Oof. The defense will take more care in choosing examples. <laughs> As I was saying, the victim was shot backstage in a dressing room. This dressing room has only one entrance. This door. That does seem to be the case. Yes. However, there are witnesses who heard the gunshots. He's talking about you and Emma, huh? Yet, when the witnesses entered the room... It was empty, save for the victim's body. Of course. That's impossible! Exactly! This murder was impossible, Shmakta. Let me just review. Yeah. Okay. For all but one person... One person! That is, of course... The defendant, Machi Tobei! Only this defendant could have committed the crime. What? But how? It's quite simple. Take the circumstances of the crime scene, make it clear. What? Very well. I... Assume you have testimony to back up this claim. Please show the witness to the stand. Oh my god. Oh, my nightmare is gonna start! Uh! Emma Sky, I'm a detective for the police department. I was on security detail at the concert forum that night. Emma seems tired somehow. Mm, security at the concert, you say? Some security I was. Couldn't even stop a murder. Now, don't blame yourself. Things like this happen. I made even bigger mistakes in my career, you know? I'm sure that makes her feel much better. I want to hear about these bigger mistakes. In any case... Because you were on security detail, the crime was quickly discovered. And we were able to identify the killer. You may give the court your testimony if you would. Describe the circumstances of that day and your discovery of the crime, please. Right. The night of the murder, I was on security backstage at Prosecutor Gavin's request. Only people involved in the, co the concert in some way were allowed backstage. At the beginning of the third set, I heard shots. I went into the room, filled with blaring rock music, and found the body. I examined the scene and determined that only the defendant could have done it. Hmm... 
I was lucky that it was lucky that a detective was first on the scene. But that door was the only way out of the room, right? Yeah, pretty much. Then I don't get it. How can they say that Machi did it? Looks like we need a bit more information. Very well. The defense may begin the cross examination. The night of the murder was the night of the concert, yes? Eh, that's right. What was the detective doing on security detail, might I ask? She's like, I have no choice. If it was only a concert. My thoughts exactly. But orders are orders, even when they come from rock gods. Prosecutor Gavin? Yes, allow me to explain. I smelled something that day, you might say. The stench of conspiracy. And that day, at the concert hall. Conspiracy? Well, isn't it obvious? My keys! That whole morning, no, the whole day was ruined. And it's all because someone stole my keys. I couldn't ride my hawk to the show. I could have opened my guitar case. There he goes again. Isn't it possible he simply misplaced them? Misplaced them? Misplaced items don't just wander into a murder victim's hand on their own. What's this? Prosecutor Gavin, if your keys were in the victim's hand... That makes you a prime suspect! <gasps> oh, you hit Blabador! Love, slow acting and new. Atro Queenin is waiting for you. He's singing something. Does everything with this guy have to be so over the top? The killing happened in the middle of my concert. I was... Like a sailor, adrift on the sea of sound. Anyways, I didn't want anything else stolen. So I put the detective with the most time on their hands on the task. Oof! I see. I can accept that. Well, I can't. What do you mean, time on their hands? Please, the testimony. We were let in, though. I didn't know about that. I certainly didn't invite you. I gave the Froyland special permission to be there. I wanted to see her again. Oh boy! Did you hear that? We're officially involved now! <laughs> Gee, great. Some other hangers on tried to get backstage, but I drove them off. So no other outsiders were there then. And then. At the beginning of the third set. Heard shots. Hold it. I believe we were having a chat when we heard the shots. You were the one chatting. I was eating snack -oos. Oh, hey! No snacking in court! Are you sure the shots came from Lemmy Roar's room? Yes, absolutely. Hey, I'm the one being cross-examined here. Here, this will keep you quiet. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. So, mm, how about it? Emma? We were right mm, there. Hard to be mistaken about that. Mm. Please, either talk or eat. Not both at the same time. Mm. Okay, right. So after that, me and Mr. Lawyer there opened the dressing room door. Okay. Rock? Blaring, yes. When you say rock, are you referring, perhaps, to this rock and roll music that's so popular these days? That's right, we went into the dressing room. Yeah, music was blaring over the speaker on the wall. We piped sound from the stage into the backstage through speakers. That way, people in the back can hear when they're supposed to be on stage. They didn't have to be so loud. You don't listen to the governors with your ears. You feel it with your entire body and soul. I always have the backstage monitors at full volume. When I walked in the room, the band was playing Guilty Love, I believe. Making it easy to determine the time of the crime. Well, what if it's rerouted and played back, huh? The frick? Okay, I'm just kidding. I don't know. If you could hear that music playing. 
And everyone on stage for that song has an alibi. No, they don't. Just kidding. Including myself. Anyways, I closed off the scene and started my investigation. Hold it! How could you know something like that? As I said, it was clear from the circumstances. Listen. We know there was only one exit from the room. That door. The small window only opened a tiny crack. And I was standing in front of that door. So, how could the killer have fled the scene? There's only one possibility. The air vent. Oh, because he is small. He's the only one that could have fit the air vent. Objection! But that air vent was too small. Who could possibly... Uh, exactly. Mm. There's only no way you could get through. Nor me. The only one who could fit through was a child. A child. Remember, access to those rooms was limited. Only those involved with the concert were allowed. And of all the people involved with the concert, only one is small enough to be considered a child. The defendant? Pixie of the Arpeggio flitted up towards the sky and disappeared from the scene of the crime. Objection! But that's just conjecture! No, there was no other way out of that room. You were there. You should know, head forehead. And there is another vital piece of evidence. Evidence? What? Marks were found on the air vent grill. Traces that it had recently been opened. Wait, what? And something else was found, quite clearly. The defendant, Machito Bay's fingerprints. <gasps> what? Order, order, order! That air vent was the only way out of the room. The defendant's fingerprints were found on the grill. Well, head forehead? What fairy tale does this suggest to you? <sighs> only one could pass through the vent, the doorway to heaven. And that one is our pixie. Why are you looking at me, Apollo? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, actually. And Trucy. Trucy could fit. Hey, I was out whooping out in the audience! So this was his decisive evidence. Quite decisive, indeed. Hmm. I believe that's enough of that. The prosecution has a rather convincing case. The only way in and out of the crime scene was watched. Making the defendant the only one who could possibly leave the scene. Simple and decisive. Ugh. I believe we've heard enough to determine our verdict. No! Even if I wasn't in a hurry to make a hospital visit. I'm sure the Chief Justice will appreciate the gesture. Unfortunately, we have no direct witnesses. <gasps> That's a lie! Fortunately, the criminal left decisive evidence for us. That will have to be enough. Ugh, it can't be over already. Very well. I believe this trial is finished. No! If the defense has no contradicting evidence... The prosecution has presented our proof clear and plain. If you have contradicting evidence... It better be clear and plain. <gasps> Apollo, they've got us in those ropes already! We better come up with something quick! I know, I know! Think! What can get us out of this? We need evidence or a witness that can prove Machi is innocent beyond a doubt. Without that... Mr. Justice, do you have a contradicting proof that can overturn the prosecution's case? Bluff, 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 bluff! This is it, and so soon. If I mess this one up, it's all over! The court wants contradicting proof. What? What is, what is going on? Doesn't it say that he's blind? This is blind! <laughs> How can he shoot?
he's blind. Oh my god. Wait, I'm gonna call a witness. Prosecutor Gavin, you claim that there were no witnesses to this crime. Are you absolutely sure? Absolutely. I swear to my career as a prosecutor. And my million seller hit song, Atro Queenie, my love. There he goes again. That's too bad, because there was a witness. Oh, 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 really now? But how did you come to possess knowledge the prosecution clearly does not? Because I am the only one in the world who knows this! Flashback, flashback, drink up! What's going on? I just talked to him and now... Mm. He's alive! Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? Cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold? Don't worry, you're going to be fine. Help us on the way. Can't see. He can't see? Hang in there, Mr. Latouse. Tell me, who was the witness? The witness is Siren. Or is it Sisiren? What? The victim said it's before he died? Perhaps he did. And perhaps he did not. What do you mean by that? All we know is what her forehead says he said. There's no testimony, especially since it comes from the defense attorney himself. But it's the truth! He said it! I even told you about it. But apparently you ignored me completely. It's my policy to fully investigate everything I deem relevant. Clearly this rookie lawyer thinks he can tell me how to do my job. Oof. That's enough. Mr. Justice, we need clear contradictory proof from you. This witness of yours, unknown to the prosecution. I hope you're right. Failure carries a stiff penalty. Perhaps a stiffer penalty than usual is called for? There's no backing out now. Let's hear the name of your witness. It is... Sisiren. Well, let's check out their ages. 35. Oh, she's 40. 14, 25, 24. Okay. Oh, they're the same age. Okay. Take that! Love you, Roar? Recall Mr. Latou's last words. The we witness is Sisi Ren. The siren. Aha! She meant the siren! <laughs> That's right. The siren of the ballad. Lummy Roar. Lummy Roar was. Lummy Roar was only Yeah nah <laughs> Was all now I get it why you guys keep saying Lummy Lummy Lummy. I didn't I didn't really notice until now. Was only on stage for the second set. Hold on, be right back. Access, access to the backstage area. She could have been a witness. Oh. She could have been a witness. I see. Well, Prosecutor Gavin, under the my claim, uh -huh. Wait. my my headphones. 
my claim still stands. There was no witness to this crime. Very well. Sissy Ren and Lummy Roar. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth then, shall we? We will now take a break from Detective Emma Sky's cross-examination. I didn't think it would arrive this soon. Oh my god. Wait, this is so good. What the heck? Let me roar with saying nothing the night of the murder. Not today, though. Today, we'll drag that story out of her no matter what it is. Mm. Oh my god. Is it gonna... Is she gonna speak... Is he gonna speak orang sujud? Oh, English! You are too kind. You can speak English. Yes, but keep it secret, please. Hold on. I'm gonna get more Martha. Yes, yes I can. Though I am not very good, there is much I do not know. Wow, English Jozu! Actually, I do not know how I came by my knowledge of your language. No, where I studied it. Okay. What does she mean she doesn't know? Gimmick, gimmick. I too thought to call her a witness. I had a reason, of course. Mm. What's that? Lummy Roar suffers from amnesia. Amnesia? Lummy Roar is not my true name. Yet I remember nothing of the time before I was given it. Lamnesia. Nothing of the time before I started singing on stage. She is even more mysterious than I thought. As lauded singer Larry Roar, she lives a good life. There are little difficulties for her thanks to her success. Yet, I did not wish to subject her to unnecessary stress. Mm, yeah. I care surprisingly little about people's pasts. I have nothing to fear in this court, Lemmy Roar. Thank you. Yet there is something I don't understand. I'm being called as a witness? What might I say? No one will tell me anything of what happened. Lemmy Roar, let me be frank. I did not want to ask you up here to testify. It's that guy. That young gentleman with the wide forehead over there was adamant than just then. Oh my. Congratulations, Apollo! You're the bad guy! Ugh. Now that you're here, please give us the testimony. If nothing else, the sound of your voice is welcome. Tell us what you saw the night of the crime. As for what I saw, I saw nothing. That night, I was invited to sing on stage, and this I did. I did not return backstage after the second set. Then I was led by the police to Mr. Gavin's dressing room, and told to wait there. That was where I learned that something had happened, but I wasn't told the details. say you sound wonderful just testifying i hope he was too distracted to hear what she was actually saying there you have it she saw nothing that night mm. now we can only pray that the defense has the sense to admit defeat and refrain from detaining her here longer than need be Wow, you just got better, Apollo. Way to go. <sighs> Very well, Mr. Justice. Keep it short and sweet. 
telling me Rora wouldn't talk to me. The night of the crime. She must know something, and I've got to find out what. You did not return backstage once? Where were you then? What were you doing? I was cleaning up on stage. There are many things I must do for a performance other than simply sing. And was Machi with you at the time? Unfortunately, I do not know where he was. Mm. No alibi, huh? Can I do this? Objection! I'm sorry, Lemmy Roar, but I'm ha I'm having trouble believing you. You remember this brooch, do you not? Why, that's Lemmy Roar's. She was wearing it for her song. Care to add that to the testimony, Prosecutor Gavin? What? This brooch was found after the murder took place. At the very scene of the crime. What? Let me roar. How did your brooch get backstage if you did not go there yourself? And as Prosecutor Gavin has just told us, you had been wearing it during your performance that night. Hmm. Ah. What is the meaning of this? Let me roar, please explain. Hmm. Let me roar. Andrit, lu tiba-tiba nggak bisa bahasa Inggris. Gak bisa bahasa Inggris, katanya. He says English is quite difficult. That trick's not gonna work here. Oh my God, please. Your forehead may be large, but you are a lawyer, true. <laughs> but you have missed one important fact. What now? In fact, at the time of the incident, I went backstage, but only for a moment. <sighs> Yang bener dong, which is it? Think back to the moment of the crime. You know whereof I speak. Is she really saying all that? What is she talking about, Apollo? Right when the incident occurred. Oh, <gasps> she talking about that? Oh, when we were interrogating her. Hmm? Oh, or this one. So many flashbacks. It's drink time, but I'm eating. Hold on. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't need this. Okay. We don't need to read this. Mm. Oh, is it him? I mean her. I looked into the room. Just a glance, mind you. So this was when the bruise dropped? No, nah, bullshit. That explains that. No, it doesn't. There is no other time I could have dropped it. But that's ridiculous! You only looked in for an instant, but you dropped your brooch? Hmm. Her forehead. She has raised the possibility. The only thing that can counter that is evidence. Oh, but when I... When I raise the possibility, do you guys make fun of me? So she looked in at the crime scene. 
Actually, I intended to go into the dressing room. I knew nothing of what had happened, of course. But the moment I opened the door, I heard a horrible voice. Who's mine? Hair forehead shouting, Who's there? No doubt. A horrible voice indeed. Ugh. I closed the door immediately. Well, that explains the bruise. No, it doesn't. How, what, how do you guys, you guys think this kind of explanation is okay? We got different treatment because we're not a mysterious beauty with amnesia. Mm. Okay, I'm done with the Martabak. It's too sweet. It's really good, but it's too sweet. I'm at my limit right now. Let's return to um, your testimony. Lamoror, you did look into the room though, right? Yes. Testify as to what you saw. Very well. Though it's only the briefest of glimpses. What is there? her stomach voice she's not opening her mouth when she say the late body gotcha. that means he's still alive at that time because he died because he died when uh you know he died when he we checked on him the late mr latus's body you say yes he knows something more about mr latus's death than you are saying what? Mm. Me, me noticing the snacku chewing pattern bears fruit. I could see you trying not to remember. But the effort made you swallow. You can't fool my eyes. <gasps> it is true. It was so terrible after all. Why did Mr. Latouse have to be shot? One moment, let me roar. Yes. What was that you just said? Why did Mr. Latouse have to be shot? How did you know he was shot if the thing if he was blocked by the wall? Yes. She was hiding something. I knew it. Lamy roar, I'm afraid you haven't realized it, but your words just now contradict your testimony. Huh? How could that be? Take this! Lamorora contradicted her own testimony and I have the evidence to prove it. What? I do not misunderstand the meaning of contradiction. It is you who contradict, Mr. Justice. Huh? 
Your evidence is meaningless. Huh? Wrong evidence? Hmm. What's the... Well, I don't get it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Ah! I'm not feeling so good. Hold on. Wait, actually, no, I'm not. I will be right back. I don't know what it is. The gun? I mean, I submitted this diagram and it's wrong. question is why did mr latus have to be shot which means well if she didn't see the body then how yeah she knows he was shot and then it's bullshit it contradicts her testimony but then what evidence do i give her to say ha this is the proof that you're bsing The details weren't being shared. And that means she has to be there. Yeah, she has the information and nobody told her. Exactly, that means she knows... She isn't... Yeah, but like, what's the evidence? What's the correct evidence? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. I know, I know what's going on. It's, it's classic Ace Attorney. There's nothing. I already checked the gun before. I already checked the gun. The gun has nothing. This one, this brooch also has nothing. Oh, maybe the investigation request? Because nobody told her? I guess. Oh my god. I hope this works. Tell me, Lemmy Roar. How did you know? Okay. 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 That that works. Good. It, well, I... Immediately following the incident, a gag order was placed on the scene. This is the document proving that... In your testimony, you told the court. No one told me anything about the incident. Ah... Furthermore, you testified that you had seen nothing. Hmm. Yet you knew that Mr. Latus had been shot. How could you have known? Because she was there. <gasps> Yark! Let me roar! You aren't hiding something from this court, I hope. Sweet song of hers was sounding a little too sweet. Ah, uh, now I remember. Please, allow me to add to my testimony. Of course. All we want to know is the truth. She looks kind of pale, huh? She saw something, I know it. Even the victim said so. I saw bullet holes in the wall and knew Mr. Latouse had been shot. Only a glimpse, yet you knew there were bullet holes? I mean... Yes, I recognized them immediately. I've seen bullet holes before, you know. You have traveled the world as a singer. You must have sung in places far more dangerous than our country, or I don't know, watch TV. I go wherever my voice is needed. Those places are many these days. 
<laughs> what else would they be, exactly? That's really cool! I hope I get to travel like Lemmy Roar someday. I plan on recording my next album overseas. <laughs> Why is he trying to one-up her? That's weird. Their studios have a different sound, you know? Hmm, maybe I should go on a Chords of Steel tour too. Nah, you're fine. Now is it is it do we um <laughs> Let me roar, they call you the siren of the ballad, but lies are hardly becoming of such a creature. A put down worthy of our prosecutor, Mr. Justice. Such put downs are hardly becoming of you, Apollo. Stop polishing your forehead and start polishing your character, yeah? <laughs> Come on, can't I be cool for once? Observe the diagram. Let me roar, you looked in from the door from just a moment. Correct? Yes, that is so. There were bullet holes in the room, yes? But they were in the wall. The door is on. <gasps> Assuming you merely glanced into the room, you couldn't have seen those bullet holes. Yerk! Let me roar. Yes. I'm afraid the defense has raised a good point. It appears you have been holding back something. And I must tell you... I must tell you what it is that I saw. Yes! This is a court of law! The happenings in this trial are being recorded. And I'm certain it will be on the news in Virginia. You understand your reputation is at stake. It falls to you to avoid tarnishing it. Personally speaking... I still believe that cross-examining her will yield us absolutely nothing. But she knew how Mr. Latouse died! And he named her as a witness. You must have seen something, Lemuror. What if the siren isn't even her? Very well. Lemuror, please continue your testimony. Very well, I shall. Suddenly, Ego Muzukashi. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. There was something like a little window there. That's how I saw it. There were two shots. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Oh, now you see it from that small window! But it wasn't Machi. It was a grown person. I know it was. So you did witness the crime. And the killer was a groom person, you say? Maybe Mashi's like Detective Conan, but like more short term. It was two Machis in a trench coat. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, this is my first time hearing this, I assure you. Nice play, Herr Forehead. Very well, Herr uh, Mr. Justice. You may begin your cross-examination. Great going, Apollo! You were right about Lemmy Roar. What's wrong? You don't look too happy. This whole thing smells fishy. That's what's wrong. Is she trying to accuse us or someone else? I don't know. I was on my way from the thing. Hold it! Uh, what exactly is something like a little window? Yes, uh, well... Window is the best word I know in English. I think this is how it is said, yes. You need not worry, Lamy Roar. Your choice of words is impeccable. There's a small window in the dressing room in question. Perhaps the defense remembers this detail. That little window on the wall. I uh, saw the crime from there. There were two shots. I couldn't do anything to stop it. But it wasn't Machi. It was a grown person. I know it was. A 
grown person. That's a little vague. I am sorry. My skill with your language is lacking, I know. Certainly you could at least see whether the shooter was male or female. It was a man. A young man. It's us! Are you sure of that? Yes, his voice was quite clear. Voice? Looking at this diagram, it seems the dressing room was quite cluttered. It does seem likely that you wouldn't have had a clear view of the shooter. As a singer, I rely more on my ears than my eyes. When I hear a voice, I do not forget it. That voice was the voice of a man. So you heard a voice, but wait. Couldn't that have been the victim, Mr. Latus? No, Mr. Latus has a very old person-y voice. Absolutely not. Did I not just say that I do not forget a voice? If it was Mr. Latus who spoke, I would have known. Hmm, indeed. So you were at the window and you heard the shooter's voice, the voice of a young man. Apollo, this is a good testimony. Is it? That proves it wasn't Maji. I don't know about that. Indeed. If this turns out to be true, it would cast this case in a considerably different light. What is the defense's opinion of this testimony? Then how did he escape? Though it pains me to say this. There's something about Lemur's testimony that rings false. Bravo, her forehead. You're colder than I thought. I'm sure you remember what the problem is as well as I do, Gavin. As has been established, no grown man could pass through that air vent. He couldn't have fled the scene of the crime. But that means Lemur has to be lying! I know, and I know it's bad for our case, but I can't shut my eyes to this. Believe me, the idea was tempting. It is as her forehead says. Yet, this is not the only contradiction within her testimony. What next? What's he talking about? Let me roar. I understand why you would want to protect Machi. Yet remember, you are the siren of the ballot. And lies do not become such a creature. What does the prosecution mean? Apollo, what's he talking about? How come no one bats an eye when he says stuff like that? I recall the state of the crime scene quite well. The state of the room? Yes, and when the murder took place... The window was closed. I find it hard to believe you could hear a voice through it. What? But I... I'm sure. Maybe he misheard something. She misheard something. I have nothing but the highest regard for your musical sense. But my opinion of you as a witness is somewhat lesser. Objection! But she's the only eyewitness we have. Objection! So you say... And the victim named her the Siren as the witness? That's right! That's what Mr. Latouse. We heard your claim. We even entertained the possibility, and it brought us to this. Herr Judge! Yes. The prosecution requests that the witness be excused. Please. I'm afraid I must honor the prosecution's request. Wait, no! There is indeed a question of the witness's credibility. But if Larry Roar can't testify. We don't have a chance of proving why she's innocent! This cross-examination is over! Prosecutor Gavin. You may continue making your case. Danke. And now, where were we? Oh, yes. I would like to hear from Fraulein Detective again. Arg! No more Emma! Wait, let me hear Lemmyor's testimony one last time! But the cross-examination is already over. Until such a time as a need arises, this witness may leave the stand. 
I'm sorry I could not be of more assistance. Nah, like... I think she she's not lying, but she's mistaking something as something, you know? At last, back to the real trial. Ready, hair forehead? No. Uh, I hope I didn't just miss my only chance. Froyland Detective, how far have we gone until we were so rudely interrupted? Don't ask me. I just like saying the same thing twice. And I never repeat a song for an encore. If you would, Miss Sky. Hmm. I believe I was saying that the only way Mr. Latus's killer could have escaped was the air vent. It was through that air vent on the ceiling. Ah, yes, there was only one door in the room. And a witness knew was standing in front of it. That air vent isn't very big, see? Kind of limits the people who could possibly get through. I certainly would have a difficult time. Yeah, sure. You sure would. Not that you would have been there in the first place, though. Remember, the whole backstage area was off limits to people not involved with the concert. The only one who meets the conditions for our killer is the defendant. <laughs> a virtuoso performance. I couldn't have put it better myself. I love it how, you know, these people are talking and like Machi probably doesn't understand anything. She does state a clear case. Though, reading the report, something caught my eye. Oh, what's that? The circumstances of the defendant's arrest. The circumstances? Again? Oh yeah, wasn't he like unconscious? Hey, that's right, Apollo. Remember when we found Machi? That was bizarre. She's right. Why did Mr. Latou's body disappear from the room? And end up on top of that stage tower? Holding a guitar, no less. It's symbolic for something, I don't know. A perceptive observation, Herr Judge. Oh, thanks. It was kind of an accident, really. But you work in this job long enough. You get a nose for things. <laughs> the judge sure seems pleased with himself. Very good, Froyline Detective. Perhaps you can tie it all together for us. Why was the body moved? And how does that lead us to the killer? The missing body. I believe Machi stole the body because of some lyrics. He moved the body to match Lamy Roar's song. No one in this country had a motive to kill the victim. Machi practically left his signature at the scene. All of this evidence clearly points to the defendant. Okay. Lummy Roar's song? Yes, the guitar serenade. You notice it's code too, did you not? It's code? All the events that day follow the lyrics to our song. First, the keys my heart held on, on to so tightly were stolen. Then, Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst to flames on stage. Mr. Latus's life was taken by a bullet. The rest hardly needs explanation. And there's that moment, guitar, guitar, up together to the sky. That's why the guitar was there. But why is the dead guy and Machi also there? Only the guitar needs to be there. <laughs> guitar, guitar, up together to the sky. That's mad! It's like a story out of some fairy tale. Together as two people, ah... Uh... I admit, I'd forgotten about the song. But there it is now, waiting for me. The grand finale, as it were. Hey, you know I was the one who first noticed that. I've heard of jumping rope to songs and counting to songs. But killing? That's a wild world out there, Herr Judge. Very well. We've heard one song and dance, let's get on to the next. The cross-examination. I'm not so sure I'm going to be doing much singing. 
It's a wild world out there. Who would steal a body just to match some lyrics? I didn't believe it myself, but it can't just be a coinkydink. It is as Froyline Detective says. Let us begin with the first verse, if you would, Froyline Detective. What? You want me to sing it? You're the witness, yeah? Or did you want me to sing? I warn you, my fee as vocalist is not trivial. Fine, fine. <coughs> Let's look at the first part of the lyrics, shall we? When you stole away the keys, my heart held on to so tight. Indeed, my favorite heart-shaped key ring was stolen that morning. Next, we go to the right page of the lyric sheet. Where we find... Burning on in my heart, fire, burn my love away, all away. As we know, Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst into flame. Like a bullet of love, fire, take my life away, all away. Mr. Latus's life <laughs> was taken by a bullet. Malatus Balon Hijau. Door. Bravo, Fräulein. Detective, you're singing. That's not bad. Now for the finale. Guitar, guitar, up together to the sky. As it says in the lyrics, Mr. Latus was found with a guitar high in the sky over the stage. No series of quinkidink kiss could be so well conceived. He's right, scientifically speaking. What would Walkie have said? That concert was whack! Oh, I love how there's continuation. It's hard to argue when she pours her heart into it like that. Uh, <clears throat> Anyways, the shooter. Does the prosecution have any idea what he'd do all this? Like, how did he... Like, it's... A, it's oh my god, it's a, it's a kid. He can't see. He's so small. How can he move the body? <gasps> you want my scientific opinion? No clue. But he clearly had a reason to go through all that trouble. Some deep reason. A deep reason? Not only did he steal my keys, he torched my guitar. Unforgivable acts even if he had had reason, reason. And worse if he had none. The diva's complaints aside, I can imagine someone doing this on just a whim. Fräulein Detective. What? Indeed, it does seem too well rehearsed, shall we say. Yes, this crime was planned for sure. <laughs> Plan? Oh, no. This is so crazy. The kid doesn't even speak English. And she's like 14. He can't even see. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that, that kid totally... um. Moved the body of some grown up man and shot the shot him with a 45 caliber. Foo, you know. And then he crawled to the ceiling like a like a cryptid or something. Assassin kid. <laughs> and no one in this country had a motive to kill the victim. That's not true. What if we What if we figure out he's some shady dude? He may have come to this country before. I looked into that, I assure you. Oh. It was his first time in the country, it seems. Apparently, he learned English on his own. Great. You see, no one here had a motive to kill him, and certainly not in such an elaborate fashion. Hmm, it does seem difficult to imagine. Unless our famous prosecutor did it as a publicity stunt. Oh, what, Emma? Too far. What did you say? 
Prosecutor Gavin, you did this to promote your song? <laughs> of course not, and I'm quite dismayed by li the ludicrous nature of her claim. <laughs> Why would I need promotion? Everyone already listens to my music. They're even in my textbook at school. Oh my god, hold on. They're even my textbook at school. And I've never even heard of them. What does that say about me? I was just kidding! Don't get all worked up, Glimmer Boy. And Machi practically left his signature at the scene. What? What, 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 what? what do you mean by his signature? The bullet holes in the wall, of course. The bullet holes? What? The revolver was fired twice. One shot missed and I left a, and left a hole in the wall. And that means what exactly? That dressing room isn't exactly spacious. Picture the shooter facing off with the victim in there. They can't have been more than five feet apart. It would be difficult, almost impossible to miss at that range. Difficult to miss, you say? Very. Assuming the shooter could properly aim. <sighs> no, you can't be serious. I mean, listen. He, if you're accusing the kid, he literally can't aim because he can't see. Oh my god. Much he can't. See. <laughs> exactly. You think he bought her use a gun? That's why he missed. That's the only explanation that makes sense. He used sound and other senses to fire the gun. <laughs> My God, this is yo. This is just I don't know. This is just straight up bullying a blind kid. Poorly. That reminds me, the monitor in that room was blaring at the time, yeah. Early ideal conditions for tracking by sound. A blind shooter. No wonder he missed. I knew those bullet holes would come back to haunt me. Sure, there are bullet holes left in the wall. But that doesn't prove the shooter couldn't see. Oh, how so? Well, there could have been a struggle with the victim. That's certainly possible. And it might have been the revolver's fault because it had so much recoil. Even though he could aim nice, if you know, if he cannot handle the recoil, then it's pow pow. The revolver was a very large caliber, correct? If the shooter wasn't used to firing such a large weapon, why it could dislocate their shoulder? Exactly. The defendant, Machitobe, is, as you can see, tiny. It's not so hard to picture him firing the gun and missing entirely. The kickback alone would throw off his aim. Convincing argument, to be sure. Haha, <laughs> take that smug prosecution. Uh, yeah, about that. Apollo? What? That bit about Machi being tiny. And the gun throwing off his aim? Aren't you kind of... Um, admitting that he did it? Oh. <laughs> it does not matter what he missed. What matters is that the shooter was, without a doubt, the defendant. Even the defense seems to agree on that point. <laughs> uh, Cripes, I really put my foot in it this time. But let's get the facts of the matter on the record. If you would, Froyline Detective. Very well, the witness will add this to her testimony. Right. From the state of the crime scene, I conclude the shooter was blind. Hold it! <laughs> you can't say he was blind just because of those bullet holes in the wall! I think I've proven that. I wouldn't call it proof, per se. Huh? 
You merely raised the possibility. Froyland Detective has made the most logical conjecture based upon the evidence. This case is so crazy. Like, Bully, the only 14-year-old who who's also happens to be blind. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, the blind kid, the blind kid crawled off the vent with a stepladder. <laughs> <sighs> and also, the kid's far from home, doesn't even speak English. Literally, what the hell? <sighs> it's like... It's like Adrian Andrews, except it's the game, not us. <sighs> the defendant was the only one who could have escaped through the air vent. Objection! But wait, if he was blind... How would he know about the air vent in the first place? Ah, a very good point. Well, Fraulein Detective, if you would care to explain. He certainly seems sure of himself. Recall the crime scene, if you would. There was a stepladder below the air vent. He can't even defend himself because he doesn't know the language. <laughs> As it happens, maintenance was scheduled for that day. Custodial staff went around checking all the air vents. I don't believe it. Everyone backstage was told about the maintenance. Including Machi Tobei. He would have known that there would be a way out at the top of the step ladder. You mean he planned the murder like right after the thing? Like, oh, there's an air vent? Time to kill! That's why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? <laughs> also, it's probably the best that he can't speak given the history of AA clients. Oh my god, you're actually so true. The court is like screwing him over you know, right now, but like if he could speak, if he could speak, he would make things so much worse, probably. But I don't know, he seemed like a good kid. He's terrified, you know. You could have figured it out for yourself. You only needed to consider what that stepladder was doing there. Looks like the defense's objection has been squished by a stepladder. <laughs> well, hand for hand. Out of ammunition, perhaps? I've never seen Prosecutor Gavin so... So aggressive. So aggressive? Maybe he's caught the scent of blood. What? Apollo! Don't you have something? Anything? You know what we need? We need something to prove the killer could see. That'll put him in his place. Proving the shooter was sighted would do it. That would take down one of their central points. Do you have any evidence that can prove that, though? Heart-shaped key ring? Ah! He wiped the... He wiped the writing! He wiped the bloody message! Yeah. As I knew you would, hair forehead. What exactly am I up against here? The prosecution is saying the shooter missed because they couldn't see. Therefore, Machi, who's blind, did it. Defense will please present their evidence. Evidence that overturns the prosecution's claim that the shooter couldn't see. See, he like gets, um, yeah. I think this is it. Please, I hope. Oh, okay. Oh, nice music. Thank God. This is that evidence. The photograph of the crime scene? I don't care much for this American prosecutor's Gavin face. But this is no time to think twice. Time to press on. Yes, Your Honor. The crime scene. There is something in here that decisively contradicts the prosecution's point. Yeah, stop bullying the kid, I beg you. Then perhaps you'd best show us this something. Get your finger out of the breeze and put it to good use, yeah? 
very well show us what you're talking about, Mr. Justice. The contradiction at the scene of the crime is... This. The contradiction is right here. Yeah, the kid can't understand. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God the kid doesn't understand. The smeared bloodstains. I thought it was just my blurry vision. But it really was blurry. The way the victim's hand is raised above his head. Much like a gesture I have seen many times in this court. It's almost as if he wrote something. Aha! I get it. At least, I think I get it. Get what, Fräulein? When Mr. Latouse was shot, he tried to write something. And what would he write but the shooter's name? And what would he write it in... But... His own blood. Pretty good, huh? Thanks for making my point for me. Yes, in fact, that's what I think happened here. Mm, that does seem to be a distinct possibility. The victim wrote the killer's name. It's certainly a logical conclusion. Drat! I just wish it wasn't all rubbed out like that. Of course it's rubbed out. Why, if I were a killer... <gasps> I certainly wouldn't want to leave my own name behind. Neither would I. Um, no one has anything else to say? <laughs> About what? <laughs> so, the prosecution accepts this? You agree that the, this was the victim making an attempt to record the name of the killer? And that the killer tried to rob the name out? What's your point? What's my point?! Let me ask you this! How did the killer know the victim was writing their name?! Well, Mr. Latouse was writing something in blood once the killer saw what it was. Mm, wait. Once he saw what it was. But what did she just testify about the shooter? I said they were blind. <gasps> <gasps> Yet the crime scene itself contradicts that. The killer had to have been able to see. Why would they rub out the name in blood otherwise? Oh! Oh! May I remind the court that the defendant is blind? He couldn't have been the shooter! Took him quite a while. But they got it, yeah. And impossible! Order, order, order! Prosecutor Gavin, please explain to me what all this means. I mean, looking at this photo, it seems quite clear that the shooter could see. Yet, up until now... It seems I owe the court an apology. Mm. The governors are a band with law enforcement ties, yet a murder occurred. During our concert, apparently this caused some confusion over jurisdiction. As a result, some reports were not filed in an entirely timely manner. I, I'm not sure I like the vibe I'm getting. Oh no, what if like... Oh sorry, one of us cleaned the blood because it's uh, just not clean. Hey, uh, Polo, look at him. Why is Prosecutor Gavin all relaxed and smiling like that? Like he knows something we don't. And he's about to tell us. <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's rock! With these documents. But before that, I have a question for the Froyland detective. Oh god, if I may. But what? Tell me, why do you think that Machitobe is blind? Are you gonna argue that he's not actually blind? Huh? What did he say? What are you saying? Of course he's blind. Of course? He's the blind pianist, right? So, he's... Doesn't Lara lead him around with a hand all the time? No way... I have a report here on the defendant, Machitube. Oh, by the way, his eye examination result says... Um, he's actually... On the safe threshold. He is so legally he's not blind... Oh, gosh. According to this, Machitube... Can see perfectly well. <gasps> what? Okay. His blindness was merely a publicity ploy by those clever Borginians. 
Wait, he can see? Oh my god. See, oh my god, when we were interrogating him, I apologize. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought, you know, the blindness was a gimmick. But it is a gimmick. Is it a gimmick? I'm not sure. He can see quite well. Objection! But, but, but you said... What did I say exactly? Her forehead, not once in the course of this trial. Have I claimed the defendant was blind? The only one who did this was Froyline Detective. B -b 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 but that's... A significant fact, yes. Consider, Machi Tobai sees. And he was the only one who could have fled through the air vent. I see no problems with this. But what about the bullet holes in the wall? Well, maybe he just sucks at aiming. He's gonna be like... Yes, the bullet holes. I believe her forehead nearly explained those for us. Um, he didn't miss because he couldn't see. He missed because he, um, he, he just sucks. It was the kickback from the 45 caliber revolver. A simple accident, in other words. Ugh. How's that? I'm afraid your objection has just flown off her brighter skies. Ugh. This is where the real fun begins, there, forehead. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Please. Help. I knew you didn't have what it took. You... you jerk! Just what was I in here for? Comic relief? Yeah, apologize! <laughs> oh, sorry. That's no way to apologize! He's angered the truce now. Look out. <clears throat> if we can please end the bickering. Now. Whatever. I'm not leaving. I can't leave like this. I'll come up with some clue to solving this case if it kills me. But your testimony has already given us enough to convict the defendant. Ugh, don't say that. Ah, aha! Aha what? This blood stain? The criminal tried to wipe it off, right? That seems to be what happened, yes? Are you gonna be all... It's luminal time! You might be able to find out what was really written here. <gasps> really? You can do that? That's right. With this. It's called luminol. Maybe you know of it? It's a chemical that reacts to blood. Ah, yes. So have we done those tests yet? <laughs> As if I'm going to tell you. The blood stains covered a section of the carpet. In order to perform blood tests, that section was removed and submitted. Perhaps we should request it here in court now. Eh, 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 eh. Right, go for it, Apollo. What if it says Apollo? I have to do the test? I just have to spray the luminol on it. Simple. A chemical that reacts to blood. I've heard of this somewhere. Yes, I believe an analysis is called for. Have it. Dun, 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 dun. Right, ready? It's easy as pie. Okay, give it a try. Guys, the entire court are focused on me. Oh, your head's shaking! Uh, uh, let's do this. Huh? Number? Oh, girl? What? What's this? It really works! This must be... This must be the power of science! What is this? It says... IPXX... 314206... What? Maybe it's like the Borgi... The Borgidian text? Maybe it's the Bor it's Borgidian text or something? Is that the killer's name? Maybe it is. I have it. So what is it? 
I thought those letters IPXX look familiar. This is an Interpol ID number. Oh, okay. Interpol? You mean the International Police Agency? Yes, most are undercover agents working to solve international crimes. But why would he write that number? Why would Mr. Latus even know a number like that? Good show, Formulaan Detective. Rock on. Huh? Your Honor, we can verify this number immediately. Darian, are you there? Come up to the witness stand. Huh? He's gonna testify for us? Darian, you heard what we need. Go check into this Interpol ID number. Sure thing. Give me 30 minutes. No. Give me 27. Hmm. I'm not sure what to think of all this. The prosecution's case is very tight, or so it seems. Yet if this number is really that of an Interpol agent. Oh wait, I know. What if Machitoba is really an undercover Interpol agent? That would be a possibility. A possibility, yes. And one that would mark him as the killer for certain. What if la 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 me la me roar is the Interpol agent? Why did Latus know an Interpol ID number? That's what I want to know. Well, we have some time while we await Darian's report. Let's work on unraveling another mystery, shall we? A curious mystery concerning Machitobe. What are you talking about? Froyland Detective, please accept my apologies. I received word the defendant could, in fact, see just before the trial began. And he did withhold it for fun. It seemed too much of a bother to tell you. You had me until that last bit. Does this not raise a rather straightforward question? Well, sure. Why did Machi pretend he couldn't see? Give me! Exactly. It makes little sense. I feel like it's not so puzzling of a question. Just like how the, um, the girl pretends he can't speak English. What do you think, her forehead? Oh, uh, me? Machitobe pretended he was blind. Do you know why? How could he know? Wait. Prosecutor Gavin knows why, doesn't he? He's known from the start of the trial. He's been leading us on the whole time. What a jerk. Man, I thought he was cool. You know how um, the other prosecutors are usually like really mean and then they soften up. But then this guy is cool. But then turns out that he's, the, he's underhanded. Something wrong. Do you think perhaps this is all some kind of game? Know that the moment I heard that report... I knew why. I suppose people who have sold over a million records really are something else. What does that have to do with anything? There was a reason why Machitobe pretended to be blind. But it wasn't for his own sake. Getting the picture now? It wasn't for himself? For Lamy Roar, I think? I don't know. Well, Mr. Justice? Can you present evidence that shows us why the defendant has to feign blindness? Um. Sightseeing music. The postcard, maybe? Machi had no reason to pretend he couldn't see. Which means, no, it couldn't be. Good show, hair forehead. It seems you've thought of something. Why can't I figure these things out on my own? I hate having to take my cues from this guy. Very well, look at this. This is why he was pretending he couldn't see. I think it's this. It has to be this, because like... It's, it's a gimmick. Because like... 
Let Me Roar is the two of them. And it's like the concept is like, you know, I think the, the, the piano guy needs to be blind or something. Let Me Roar and Machito Bay. Recall their relationship. In particular, their unique arrangement over the years before visiting our country. Yeah, she sings the sights to him. That's the whole concept of the group. They would always walk together, she leading him by the hand. Even when they got on stage, she would lead him to the piano. She would walk all the way over there with him. That's right, because he was blind. She led him at all times, never letting him go. All times. Hmm. Yet, we have just learned something that makes their arrangement peculiar indeed. Machi could see. Why did they have to keep up this act the whole time? Ya gimmick, dinglangin. Wasn't it part of their, uh, performance? I think there's a simpler explanation. What? Machi did not need to be led by the hand at all. That can only mean one thing. Is... Is she the one who's... Huh? Is she the one who's blind? The one who needs to be led by the hand is the girl! Was Lamy Roar! What's this? So you mean to say that Lummy Roar is... She's... Yeah, so according to this game is like, um... The blind one is actually the girl. So you mean to say that... That's why her testimony doesn't make sense. She's like, oh, I'm more of a, I'm more of a hearing person. And she's not telling a lie. It's the truth because she can't, she can't freaking see. She literally didn't see anything. I saw nothing. She wasn't lying. Holy crap! Yes, Your Honor, Lovey Roar is blind. What? This is crazy, Prosecutor Gavin. The question was, what did you see? What did you see? And she's like, I saw nothing. I saw nothing. But then later on, the last testimony, which kind of forced us to be like, okay, please excuse the witness. She did say something like, it's a grown man. I'm more of a I'm more of a hearing person. Once I hear a voice, I never forget it. Blah blah blah. Well, that's probably true because hearing is her primary sense. Hmm. I mean, you know, just you know, there's always like, I mean, how could we not tell? You know, you know the way he gets, she gets up to the stand. Blah blah blah. You know. Yeah... I don't know... Mm. Yeah... Is it now? Please, please shed some sanity on all this madness! The defense has made an outrageous claim... Maybe she has like a little sensor, it's like a Roomba... <laughs> The only thing outrageous I see about the defense is his vast forehead. Yet I see it is not vast in vain this time. He's quite correct. But, but, but that makes no sense. Yeah, wasn't he supposed to be the landscape painter in sound or something? Well, since we have her here, why not ask Lemmy Roar herself? I believe she is still in the witness waiting room. Hola, what does this mean for our case? Don't ask me. I had no idea she couldn't see. I hadn't even imagined it until now. By 
Lilif. Bring in Lemmy Roar. Lemmy Roar. It pains me deeply to call you before us again in this way. And yet I must. Please, do not be concerned on my behalf. Those eyes, she really can't see? Really? It is true. How funny it is that a tiny lie born in the Borginian countryside would one day grow to entangle the entire world. So, so you are... Yes, as I mentioned before. I have no memory of the time before I became Lummy Roar. Know too that my memories begin in darkness. The word light has no meaning for Lammy Roar. Maybe she used to be able to see and then her memory got wiped and then she also lost her sight? Uh, I don't know. I see. You may recall me saying something towards the beginning of this trial, Hair Forehead. Was that? I believe I said it was unfortunate this crime had no direct witness. Oh my god, because he could... she couldn't... Ah... But then why does... What does the victim mean when he said, Ask Siren? Now, let me roar. I must ask you to stand once more. Will you just testify to the court about your eyes? Of course. It was never my intent to deceive any of you. May I begin, Your Honor? Uh, yes. Yes, of course. Although I admit, I'm a little lost here. I think we're all a bit lost here, Your Honor. Right. I have no memory of the light. I debuted in a world of darkness and sound. My producer came up with my PR line before he knew this. So, silly as it may sound, I had to pretend I could see. The producer doesn't even know that she can't see? Everyone on my staff knew, of course, but no others. This is a murder trial! I apologize. It was part of my contract, you see. I was to keep my blindness a secret, no matter what. Oh, okay. It was... The secret wasn't the Borginia, but the blindness. Music is everything for me. I never imagined something like this would. She told us the truth in the beginning. When she said she saw nothing... Very well. Does the defense have anything to add? I'd like to cross-examine. But what is there left to ask? Um, what did you hear? There was one thing in her testimony that bothered me. Perhaps it is best we'll let you get it out of your system. Someday you'll come to understand the importance of thinking for yourself. Very well, the defense may proceed. However, be aware this court will not tolerate any questions deemed too stressful to the witness. Okay, there was only one part that bothered me. Let me ask about that and I'll be happy. When you say your staff, do you include Mr. Letus? Of course, he was my manager. So he knew, and that's what's been bugging me! Something the matter, Mr. Justice? I believe I know what is bothering our young defense attorney. You are thinking of when you discovered the body, yes? Is he right, Apollo? Yes, I was. Mm. He's a lot... Flashback. So many flashbacks. The 
The witness is C C C C Ren. Mr. Latouche told me to ask the witness and he named you. What if the siren was the siren is both Lamy Roar and Lamy technically Lamy Roar is both the girl and the and the kid. Why would he do that? He knew you were blind. I don't know. Test test. What did I just say? You need to learn to think for yourself. Meaning what? There is no mystery here if you recall everything he said. Think of his last words once more. The witness. Siren? You've heard them many times, along with a little play acting by your defense. I remember them well myself. That statement is not to what I refer. So cold. Before, what came before that? What? That's right. He tried to tell you. When he said can't see, he was talking about he wasn't talking about himself. Oh, okay, can't see. He was talking about the witness. I see. But the defense did not. I mean, how am I supposed to know? Jeez, if you're dying, you probably can't see. I don't know. Well, hair forehead. Try relaxing and looking at the facts first next time. Order, order! Recall Lamy Roar's earlier testimony. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. Oh my god. There were two shots. I couldn't do anything to stop it. But you couldn't have heard the gunshots. I thought we proved that. That is not the most important point here. Hmm? The moment he was shot, Mr. Latouche witnessed her through that window. Why else would he have named her as the witness? But I really did hear them. Two gunshots and the man's voice. Fortu unfortunately, such a thing was impossible. The window was closed. Or what if it wasn't? We have already run a simulation, of course. But it was so clear. If I heard that voice again, I would know it in an instant. Your Honor! What is it, Bailiff? Can't you see we're in a session here? We have the results back from the investigation. The investigation? Ah, the interval number that Mr. Latouche left us. Well, let's hear it. We will continue this cross-examination afterwards. Detective Chris End, your report, please. I asked Interpol about that number. I'm sure you'll find their answer intriguing. Quick work as always, Darian. Well, tell us about the number. Is the defendant the secret agent? Maybe it's l the girl, the woman. The agent registered under this number was Roman. Oh! Eh? Latus is Mr. Interpol? So this is probably deeper than it is. He wrote his own number so people would know that this case is somebody targeting Interpol person or something. What? Our undercover Interpol agent was Mr. Latouche himself. He was apparently in the middle of an operation. So when he wrote those letters, he was trying to tell us his own identity. And a cautious killer tried to wipe them away. Mr. Latouche was an undercover Interpol agent. So him being Lemmy Roar's manager was just a cover, most likely. There was one other important detail I found. Well, out with it. It concerns that 45 caliber revolver, the murder weapon. Apparently, it belonged to Romain Latouche. He had an Interpol permit to carry firearms. And the registration number on the revolver matched. Okay. So the victim was killed with his own weapon, which makes sense. 
It's hard to imagine someone who wasn't an Interpol agent with such a large revolver. So the victim was an Interpol agent on an under undercover op. I wonder how that ties into everything. It's good to tie in somehow, you think? Yes, yeah, somehow. Thanks for looking into that for us, Detective Crescent. It was a, it's a great help. Oh, no problem at all, Your Honor. I'll be heading out. What? Huh? Wait! La... La me roar! Is something the matter? That voice just now... Oh! Darian? Mr. Darian, is it? It was him. I am sure of it. <gasps> it was him? You aren't saying... That voice I heard, talking to Mr. Latouse. When I heard the gunshots fired. It was him. It was Mr. Darian. Is this some kind of joke? Ha! What? No way. The courtroom fell into such a chaotic state. The trial had to be suspended temporarily. I've never seen that happen before. It could also be like a misunderstanding. She just all, she just said that that's the voice I heard when the gunshots rang. Of course, it's not every day that you get an accusation like that one. Let me roar. Fingering Darian Crescent. Not only is he a guitarist, he's a detective. Could it really have been his voice? Let me roar heard. Things were changing fast. And frankly, I wasn't sure I could keep up with it. Hey! No imping out now, Apollo! Yeah. She did what? Uh, fingering the Detective Crescent. Oh! Is it gonna be investigation next? Oh my... Ah! Yeah, probably a good place to stop. Okay, that was nice. Went through the whole um, first investigation and first trial. A good four hours, actually. And pretty long. We're longer than the previous case, obviously. And I don't know. I like it so far. Um, it's interesting that the witness... You know, it's not really a visual witness, but auditory witness, so, but let's see what could happen. And tomorrow's investigation, so what can we see? And who's the yellow guy? I don't know. Mm. Yes, yes. Oh, about tomorrow. Um, Yeah, yeah. We're having a collab tomorrow with Eofi, and it's going to be Eofi POV. Yeah. A yellow herring. I don't even know. I feel like we'll we'll find out next investigation. Um, but okay, let's actually move first. Okay, it's still morning, and we're gonna change it to nighttime. Oh my god! Tada! It's suddenly nighttime. Let's go, everybody. <laughs> yes. Okay. The darkness falls. That is really good. I I enjoyed it so far. Uh, beginning of trial was a little bit ridiculous. I actually kind of enjoyed the little mini game thing that they had with the um, uh, with the mixing board. I feel like it's just a nice, a little bit of you know mini game to do, like the um, like the footprint thingy, but for this case. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we're gonna be reading the super chat before we stop. Uh, I gotta go to sleep early because we have stream tomorrow on EOP at 11 a.m. We're gonna be drawing Holo ID as animals. Yes, 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 yes. Mini games help add a little variety. Yeah, I know. All right. Um, still don't get the significance of mixing with the case. I don't know. Maybe it'll show up later on day two or like the second trial or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, um. We have Anton M. OMG, she speaks in Hadouken. What amazing tongue. 
He also the shadows. Emma was so full of enthusiasm for science and promise. Now she's beaten down by a life and bittered. Unhappy, desperately snagging away the pain. Police officers and AA lead Ralph lives full of humiliation and disappointment. I swear to god, I feel bad for her though. <laughs> She's annoying, but she didn't really deserve to be ridiculed like that. Hmm. So many question marks today still. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we have Anton M. You gotta learn how to catch her snackus with your mouth. Yeah, I know, right? She's wasting her snacks like that if she keeps throwing them at us. Yeah. Alright, we have Sipley, Nicholas M. So the shadows, wet taco time. This was shadows. Goral must be short for gorilla. The killer was a gorilla. Case okay, solved. Real. Yeah, you know, the gumshoes of the game keep getting treated like trash, but, you know, gumshoes just like, oh, come on, sir, and Emma's just like, oh my god, screw you, you know, it's just um, how different they act that gives Emma um, a different color than gumshoe, you know? Uh, we just love the shadows. Emma and her forensic science, Apollo and his flat screen TV, the weight of all the broken dreams in this room is so heavy, I know. We have Anton M. 45 cal is big enough to protect you against Blue Badger. <laughs> Yay. And do you think Gaviners would let Aji play on the drums? And DJ Rayne back in business. Woo! I love the mixing board. We have um, Freyas with the Shadows, JC2, Nicholas M. Farron, Pancake God, Asterisk, Bella Gelato, the Diaz, Wild Nasu, Hashu. Um. And to M cross mm, examination. I saw the shadows. My water bottle holds the liter, but with all this hydrating for flashbacks, I've had to refill it three times. Time to get out my two liter water jug. Yeah, or use your um, use your rain cup or something in the rain mug. You saw the shadows. Um, next time someone tries to present evidence that you don't care about to you, you'll have some leftover martabak to snack on while ignoring it. Exactly. That's very great news. But yeah, let me check. Alright, yeah. The Gavin's mug really holds a lot. I hope you guys have been using it. <laughs> Very nice. We have Anton M. Re oh, Rene, my Rene, the temptress of navel gazing. <laughs> it's Trucy, not me. But, anyways, guys, um, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow at EOP channel, okay? Uh, don't forget, it's not on my channel. If you don't see the waiting room, it's because it's not gonna be on my channel. Uh, feeling very good uh, with, you know, we streamed a lot uh, this week, I think, and tried on a bunch of new games, and yeah, see you tomorrow, and then hope we can do something fun next week as well. Alright, terima kasih sepertinya. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good rest, everybody. And salam rakis, everybody, and bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Shoo. Thank you.